in my pockets and with a will in the pen. Something about them yams, I just don't understand. And I'm telling them, can I get to the yam? Sweet yams, show me the way. Cause I got bills to pay. Yeah, can I get to the yams? Sweet yams, show me the way. Cause I got bills to pay yeah. Friday night, and you know what that means. It is time for Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show, episode 247. What is going on, people? This be your boy, Smith. As always, joined by the usual suspects. What's going on, fellas? I expect. You know, we, we chilling, we here, we, uh, we're here, that's it. Well, hey, it's, it's always good to be here, right? Uh, yes. And oh, for sorry. all those out there, if you were expecting last week um, some clickbait wrestling, I do apologize. Had a bit of an emergency, but we will back. We will be here tomorrow, so you can you can bank on that one. But yeah. but we'll, we'll we'll get into all that stuff uh, as well. We'll talk about the draft and all that good shit. But we we got some stuff to talk about tonight. We got. We got some trailers, we got some figs, we got some fights. So, you know, we got everything uh, a grown body needs. Real quick, just want to do another quick shout out of a pickup. Like I said, recently finally got my monkey man after what, about two years and being in pre-order purgatory. What's going on, Jason? Of course, everybody in the chat, Gojira, thank you for joining us. 
But finally, he had arrived. Monkey Man, Sun, Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, it has arrived. And, and I was telling uh, Matt earlier, I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this line. Like I said, the only, the only like critique I could give it is it has no f- footholds to put it on a stand. So that that's yeah. that's a bit of a shame. I, I'm I'm tempted to, like I said, I'm tempted to just kind of drill some holes into his feet, so I can put him on a foot peg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like he's very articulated. The soft goods are like excellent, and all the accessories look really nice. And uh, I can't wait to get him in my photo box and take some pictures of him. Plus, you once I get bats. some more of my battle, my crimson bats, I'm gonna have him beat up on the crimson bats. He could do his kung fu on the crimson bats. <laughs> By the way, I saw that they're coming out with a um, because I know Walmart's been doing like vintage GI Joe figures in the vintage like cards. Yeah, but they're like they're different color variants, and they're doing a crimson guard. But apparently the color is way off. It's like candy apple red instead of crimson. Yeah. And then the face mask is, um, I think it's the black or it's the gray one. I think it's it's a gray face plate instead of a black. Yeah. So one. so we we did get we did get a more traditional crimson guard in the main line, but the the uh, the retro card ones I think are are based off more like the original the original uh like yeah the toys cartoon. Or the, i don't even know but see that's the thing it's not even based on the cartoon because if it was cartoon it's missing colors okay one one is based off the cartoon so one is based off the the, the original toys I, I i don't exactly remember which one is because like even so, the bats the traditional bats that they got in the classified are off the face paint the faceplate shouldn't be gray; it should be red. But uh, I, I picked up the retro card Crimson Bat, even though it's yeah, the colors are off because I I don't know I just I, I like the candy apple red. I ordered a Crimson Guard uh, from uh, BBTS to go with the Crimson Bats, and uh, from what I've seen, that color matches the bats more than the than the candy apple one so i don't know yeah. it's one of those things if, if if it pops up in my walmart i'll, I'll give it a look you know what i'm saying because i am thinking about br- building a bit of a of a crimson army i, I dig the crim i always dig the crimson other than the vipers i think the crimson guards were like my favorite cobra troopers yeah me too like i felt like when the crimson guards came along it was like okay uh, this shows Cobra's got a little more money in the budget. Hooking up with the twins in extensive enterprises really did them, you know, did them good. Get those get, when you get a little money man in your life, things change, baby. Your men get better uniforms. Now, how many more bats do you think we're gonna get? Because I know there's a snow bat coming. You got the traditional bat. You got the Python Patrol. You have a crimson bat, and there's going to be a snow bat. So, how many more bats do you think they're going to try to make out of this? I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think they'll make as many as they want. Like, I think they'll they'll do a bat in every color under the rainbow. But it would have to be purposeful for the GI Joe, because it's like, okay, what else would you be able to do a bat then? Because uh, in the tradition of Cobra, like, other than Python Patrol, there wasn't any other special forces. Like, yeah, the Snowbat would make sense. But then what else is there? You, what are you going to do, an Aquabat? Yeah, I, yeah, I think they will. They'll they'll invent them. Right? It's just like... Like, the Crimson they, they Bat care. was inventive because it's like, it makes sense. You already had Crimson Guards. Why not have Crimson Bats? I, like they, they, it's like, uh, it's like Transformers just inventing like new junkions. Yeah, they don't, they don't give a fuck. They'll just, they'll just, they'll invent as many new. I, I'm still waiting want. for some other Cobra soldiers because it's like, okay, you, you drop the Vipers, you drop the basic soldier, 
you dropped the, the the Crimson Guards and the Alley Viper, which a lot of people he, he was the popular dude. But where's the Televipers? You know what I'm saying? Where where's the eels? You know, where's uh, they'll the- come. They'll come. They're gonna. They'll come in time. They right. They the thing is like they don't want to blow their whole load right right up right on the get go. They wanna. They want to stretch some stuff out. I think they want to get the No, most. but these are all characters that are literally just army builders. These are just soldiers. But No, I know. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I think they're, I think they're going to get the most out of the bat. And then, and then they'll start giving you some other stuff. But I think they want to, I think they're going to get the most out of that mold. And then they'll, uh, they'll start giving you some other stuff. Like I said, some eels. I'm sure we'll get those at some point. I'm sure we'll, we'll get some. Did iron, Indy, did Indy iron Hartwell just here. get drafted? Uh, yep. Isn't she NXT Women's Champion? Yeah. <coughs> but uh. Oh, and, and uh, Mr. V, thank you for joining us, man. Big ups. Can I? Can I? Can I spoil it? Does it matter? Spoil what? Uh, the draft. Uh, did you see this whole round? No, I'm over here buffering like a bitch. So uh, no. I, I, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire got drafted to SmackDown. Hmm, okay. So yeah, like in the one round, uh, NXT lost all its uh, women's champions. Uh, yeah, Gojira, Mr. V, Daniel. Thanks for coming out. There's some other people. Uh, Jason is here. Thanks for coming and Joining us, everybody. Talking about uh, well, stuff tonight. Well, we, we, we as we are talking about figures at this moment, we might as well jump into the number one source for news <laughs> and in formation. So I would assume you're probably going to lose your titles then. Yeah. Give it back to the... To, to the to the party girls over here. Party. Yeah. Uh, All right, well, party girls. Let's jump into your number one source for news and information. Ian, you're right in time. We're about just getting started, so you're missing nothing, my dude. Thank you for joining us. Nothing. Because it is time for fake news. <laughs> <laughs> and we start things off with uh you know the meme whimper, where they go. Whimper. You know the you, the meme with like, oh, you get Amazon and then there's Wish. Yeah. Well, this is definitely if, if Transformers, <laughs> it, tra- if Hasbro makes Transformers, then that's the Amazon. Hey. Then Mattel making their own Transformers was Listen. definitely a Wish. <laughs> it ain't a, no, a Wish come true. Like, we, this is- we start with the Jurassic World. Fierce changers. It, it's, it's a Tyrannosaurus in a Jeep. Fuck I yeah. mean, my God, look at the leg kibble, though. What the fuck? This is, no, this, just- this, is, uh, this is like when you're a kid and you're like, you're like, Mom, can we have Beast Wars Megatron? And your mom's like, we have Beast Wars Megatron at home. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> <laughs> this is what you got at home. Like, mom, I think like, you're all just angry. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> is he though? I mean, I mean, I uh, do you, did you? Are you not wearing your glasses? Do you not see? He, he's got like a a growth on the sides of his hey, legs. Hey, listen, brother, don't give me attitude, brother. Look here, brother. This guy's got fucking. He's got hip dysplasia. <laughs> all right, brother. <laughs> you got hip dysplasia in your face, brother. Brother, easy, bro. this dude's got gout on the sides of his legs, brother. Look at look at those. Uh, he's got wingtips on his legs, brother. What is he fucking no name more, brother? Maybe he is, brother. Stop judging, brother. And then he transforms to a jeep that has a has a T Rex uh, head popping under the hood, brother. Okay, okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Brother. I like I like the jeep. I like the jeep. Because when I display him on my shelf in my head cannon, I'm just gonna imagine like he ran over a T Rex and the head just got stuck. Brother, he, you know he's just been driving around with brother. He, he's got head. wheels coming out of his hips, brother. <laughs> brother, take it easy. 
Give <laughs> hey, me that attitude, yeah, brother. Brother, this shit. Time of the month, brother. This thing is a piece of shit, brother. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, brother. I love no you. No way. Listen, <laughs> this better this better treat T Rex Transformers, brother. <laughs> This is top tier, brother. This is top tier, <laughs> top tier shit, brother. Shut up, brother. <laughs> this, is, this is an abomination. It needs to be put down, brother. <laughs> Raising my blood pressure, brother. Take it easy, brother. Somebody needs to put this thing down. Uh, Something. Cyclonus guy would would be rolling in his grave if he was dead right now, brother. You're gonna be rolling your grave pretty soon, brother. Take it easy. <laughs> 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 uh, that's my take for the night. <laughs> yo, what is this though, bro? This shit is yo. They need help, son. This is not good. Look at no. There's no way. Look at this kibble. Like I said, that's why. Like Hasbro, Hasbro saw that, and they're like, "Damn, we need to, we need to partner what? up with Mattel. They need, they need help." Why didn't they at least make the T Rex head look like the T Rex? They have the license, right? I mean. It looks like an animated uh, T Rex. Dang, do you need a license to to make a T Rex? Yo, this looks like cocaine Rex right here. He looks like he's bombed out. Look at those eyes. Oh, he now I now hold on, now I kind of now I kind of <laughs> you yeah, want cocaine see? Rex. <laughs> cocaine yeah. Rex. I want cocaine somebody. Rex. I want. That's what I want, Neca. I want Neca to make a cocaine bear. You want Neca to make a, a cocaine bear? Okay. I mean, I'd buy it. Cocaine Rex. Now in theaters. I'd buy the sh- I, Oh my god. I'd, I'd watch the shit out of a Cocaine Rex. Yeah, then you'll regret that you didn't get this, I bet. I don't you know. You're gonna have to buy me. it. All I know is this is this, I, this, this looks, this makes knockoffs look high end. And I'm talking knockoffs from like Ross's knockoffs. This wouldn't be so bad if it just wasn't for the legs, honestly. Well, that, and again, you got legs coming out of your thighs, brother. Like, what is this? I, Listen, I, see, I see a window oh, on his understand. inner hip. Like, what's going on there? Like, this. I'm not on your side. Who anymore, engineered buddy. this? Uh, a blind man? It's racist, brother. I feel like it had potential, but then it didn't. This was great on paper. This is one of those things where someone who had talent started work on it, and then he got fired, and then they were like, finish his design. <laughs> he was like, okay. Finish it, Joe. <laughs> like, Where's the grades? How hard, is, how hard it to make leg? <laughs> I get done. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Make shit. leg now. <laughs> uh, no wonder we're going to get monetized. Uh, shit. This is great. Yeah, I'm getting this. He go, he go to the, he go, he, he go to present it to the board and shit. It'd be he put on the table on one. He go, it transform. <laughs> <laughs> it transform. <laughs> and they'd be like, don't you mean it's a transformer? And be like, that's what I said. It transform. <laughs> They'd be like, good, good, good job, good job, Russell. Now go, 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 finish your drink box. Okay, <laughs> I do good work. <laughs> uh listen, I think it's adorable, and I, I'm gonna get it. Well, you all, you all think I'm joking, but just wait in like five months when this drops, it, it's gonna be on the show. Well, it's going to set you back 55 bucks in July. So, summertime, July 2023, you better come up with that summertime feeling and bust out your, your, your Jurassic Jeep, your, 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 your Dingle Rex over there. Dingle Rex. The Dingle Rex. E Rex. Dingle Rex. Big Dingle Rex. <laughs> So Mattel was like, son, I keep hearing that about this big dick Frank. Can we not do better? They was like, hold my beer. <laughs> hold beer, I do. Like, it time go. 
Let's. <laughs> Fifty-five I, bucks. How like, big is I this? I am's thing? history. <laughs> this is sixteen inches long. Ooh, that's how they make it seem like it's actually well scaled. Fuck my life. Oh, okay. I think we're bringing out the world title now. Uh, we talking about it? Uh, and now we got from Bandai. We got. Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, nineteen ninety one. SH Macho Arts Godzilla, Shinjuku. What? Yeah, you know what I said. I already know Gojira is all on top of this. Shit looks sweet. Look like proper Godzilla to me. Man, Super Seven's taking their time. Like, more, I should have just jumped on Monster Hearts. Damn it! <laughs> All right, you, you, the thing is, the thing is, is uh, damn it. Yeah, like I like I said before, like I like the, I like the Monster Arts. It's just uh, they're just too they're just too expensive for me. Yeah, they're they're pricey. They're just too expensive for me to spend on Godzilla. Not that I don't like Godzilla, but it's just you know I I, I got stuff that I I like more. Ooh, look at that! Uh, sweet. Yeah, like like that's what I mean. Like it looks good. It looks good. But uh, I'm I'm really kind of hitching my wagon to uh to Super Seven, and uh, I'm just kind of. Oh, Gojira's going in. Ava yeah, yeah, yeah. Gojira going in for sure. Oh. Yeah, I'm just I kind of went with Super Seven. Right? Like, <laughs> Super Seven is the is the perfect bridge between uh monster arts and like bandai so just need more villains but yeah yeah it looks great though it's cool yeah, it does look really good though i like the i like the head sculpt this is yeah. my this is my favorite version of godzilla oh yeah yeah he's, he's cute look like this him. is this is a uh, like when I don't know, like when I was a kid and I was watching Godzilla movies, like this is sort of the Godzilla that I, I, I picture, like the Godzilla that was kind of fighting other monsters and shit, you know? Dropkick Godzilla. Oh, Smash, I'm going to be in Puerto Rico next week? For, okay. Yeah. I think, I think Googly Eyes Godzilla from 54 is still my favorite. This is like the this is like the poster child, you know what I mean? The, this is, yeah. you know, it's the most recognizable one. I think uh, I think two thousand one Godzilla is still my favorite. I think this one is probably the best Godzilla look because it's like it's it's a little bit of the old and a bit of the new, but it's just enough yeah. that like it's it's pleasing to anyone and it's the rec the most yeah. recognizable Godzilla. I like yeah, that. that's that's what I mean. Like this is just this is just when I think of Godzilla. Like this is just what I this is just what I think of. Like like if I was to ever get like a Godzilla, it'd be like something. It'd be this kind of Godzilla because this is the most common like modern era look of a Godzilla. Dang, well, how much uh, how much is this again? Hundred bucks, like a hundred bucks, I think. Yeah. November but, uh, of 2023, you're talking but, six inches. Uh, so see, this this would be a little bit smaller than uh, like Super Seven. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine. But what's it? What Super Seven's going right? What seventy five, eighty? Yeah. Dang, now I'm now I'm tempted. The, the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, I think I want to get this. Well, November wanna... of 2023 is uh, the deadline on this one for release. I'm going to have to marinate. I'm going to have to marinate. <coughs> on it. Right with you. That sounds weird. Ooh. Oh, baby. From huh? SH Figu Arts. But in his Berserker armor. So this is, uh, this is uh, Guts. After uh, Eclipse, you know, he's got the robotic arm and he's missing the eye. 
Dang, what a nice, nice figure. Yeah, it looks sweet. You picking, yeah, Dragon, you picking Dragon this up? Slayer. No, no, I'm not. Because I, I already got the same exact uh, version of Guts. But I got the Figma. <clears throat> but that being said, Dragon Slayer looks excellent. Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really nice figure. Do y'all ever watch Berserk? I've seen some of it. Uh, I haven't. Dang, Jimmy, you gotta you gotta stop fucking around and go watch Berserk. <laughs> That's mean. I love you. Watch watch the old anime and then watch the three movies and then watch the the modern anime. That's that's the order you want to watch it in. First, you said stop fucking around, Jimmy. Whoa, no, whoa, no. I'm a busy guy. Not I really. Think, I think guts. I'm 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 gonna say it. I think Guts is the greatest anime character of all time. Big ups, Rod Drake. Thank you for joining us. I wish Tamashi would tackle Metal Gear franchise. Uh, Gojira, they they might they might be hard to find, but like uh, Fig Figma Figma has definitely done some uh, Metal Gear figures. They might be hard to find now, but. You know, there's always a chance that they might might reissue them. Like, uh, they made a they made a solid snake a couple years ago. That's the one I uh, I have on my uh, my smash shelf. Yo, and birds, and it looks like it's that got some so uh, some soft goods with it as well too. Yeah. Dude, that that sword is bigger than him. Yeah, because because it's made to kill dragons. God damn! Hell yeah! Better Gonna need a, a stand just for that thing. That big going up against motherfucking dragons, son. I got a pretty big sword too. <laughs> See the the only problem I have with the Figma guts is that his cape, it's it's, it's soft goods, but it it almost feels like paper. It, it, it's almost it's like a weird, like, papery texture as opposed to, like, a cloth. So this is kind of, this kind of looks like it's the one improvement, whereas it looks like real soft goods for the cape. Well, 100 bucks with a $10 deposit, November of 2023. I mean, listen. Whoa. Well. Every you know every every uh, every Batman needs his Joker right like every great hero needs their foil. You, you're gonna get uh, guts. You know you want to get Griffith. Al although this is kind of like uh, Griffith when he was still good. This is kind of still like end of the hot Griffith. Or it's it's more it's more closer to that and uh, post clips, but. Uh, yeah. It looks good. Keeps all looks, that hair uh, under there. Yeah, it looks very good. Yeah, it's real it's nice. So you get good. the you get the horse too. Yeah. Is the is the horse articulated? Uh, I'm from sure what it, it looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like Probably it's just kind of stationary from all the yeah. photos, but I get it. Like you might be able to move the head. Or you might be able to move the legs a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be like, uh, like when they released the when they released the Figma horse, it was like this price it is is like a buck something for just the horse, and, and it was like a it was like a super articulated horse, so I I don't think we're quite getting that here, but. Actually, yeah, like now that I'm looking at it, yeah, like it might actually just be completely static. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think it's more about just the figure than the actual horse. But I mean, it's it's, it's a nice combo deal. It's not, it, it'll look good on display. I'd rather, honestly and truthfully, I'd rather the horse be stationary than be like kind of articulated because if the joints ain't tight, 
then that shit can't stand on its own fucking feet or hold any weight. Yep, exactly. So, uh, I'm okay with that. So, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, this this one I am probably gonna uh, probably gonna pick up. So majestic. Majestic. This one's a little bit more though. It's gonna set you back a buck forty five with a 1450 deposit <clears throat> in case you change your mind December of 2023 Alright from Bandai Namco we got some Dragon Ball uh, Super Dragon Star Omega Shinron I mean it looks good I mean for anybody that's into this, this line of uh, Dragon Ball you know you get a new character so that's always a good thing, right? Yeah, it looks good. Um, yeah, it's all right, I guess. Uh, my my stance on these is always kind of like just get SHF. But in this case, this is a GT character. SHF doesn't give a lot of love to GT. So will will they ever make an Omega Shenron? I, I I don't know. These figures are not good, man. These figures are not good. I mean, they're not the best, but these are these are for those who ain't got that SH money, man. Come on. Uh, you know what though? Like, sure, you say uh, you save up that... a few more dollars, but it's like still, there's there's people with a budget who want to build the collection, and they know they ain't got the money to crank eighty, a hundred for every figure where like a cat like this Mega Shinron twenty three dollars. So you so you're, so gonna... you're looking at like for a hundred dollars to get one good like SH figure, if these are averaging twenty three dollars with a hundred you can buy four. That's I guess that's the thing though. Like would you would you rather get like one really good Dragon Ball Z figure or do you want to get four shitty figures that are just gonna break that are just gonna break right out of package? Uh, it depends these, on it depends on what your pockets. Some for some people, it really depends on what the pockets look like. Like like these are like I I, I here let me let me come at it let me come at it a different way. Just get the model kits. Don't even fuck with these. Just get the model kits. Model kits are like twenty bucks, and and the model kits are. Are almost on par with with SHF. Don't waste your money on these. Like, uh, like that's just what I'm saying. Like, don't don't waste your money on these. <laughs> she says she ain't building no more models, man. You have to do that. Shit uh, she's, yourself, bro. She said it, she says that now, but wait till I get that blue eyes white dragon. Okay, maybe that one. That's the last one. That's it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll, I'll only fuck with the figurized standard uh, model kits for Dragon. Yeah, Ball, so. just just get the just get the figurized, just get the model kits because the model kits are almost on par with SHF. Uh, it's just I, I get it. Like uh, I get it. Like you want a budget? I, I know all about that, friends. Well, that's not true though. Some of the figure rides aren't the best. There's there's a couple out there that it's like mm, you might want to buy an actual SH because like the the Go Tanks is trashing the, the figure ride standard, the look wise and everything. So the fact that I bought an SH version of it, I'm glad because. It's way better than what the figure I standard would offer, and as far as like facial sculpt for for Go Tanks, that shit was trash. That shit was Let trash. Me, uh... The rest though, like I said, the Piccolo's good, the Cell's good, the stuff, the the Frieza, the Kid Boo, the Gohans, the Krillins, everything else is pretty on on par as far as look wise. It's just that Go Tanks was probably did miss. Everything else is money. Yeah. Let me let me say it like this: if if y'all 
go 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 on my channel just go back go watch my review of the dragon stars hit and, and, and you'll see how you'll see how cheaply manufactured these are i'll leave a bit one i get it listen listen like again i get it if you want to if you're on a budget but then get the model kits because the model kits are are 20 bucks and that, they're that, substantially that. better Cheapest is around thirty five to thirty eight. Highest is to forty five to fifty. If it's depending how big the, still, the model is, still thirty five bucks. Just, just if you can't afford SHF, listen, like that's totally fine. I get it. Like imports are expensive, but just spend the extra ten bucks and get the model kit. I, I promise you'll be so much happier. Well, again, this dude is going to set you back 20, 23 bucks, July 2023. Unless if you get this guy on like discount for like 10 bucks, then I would say it's worth it. If you get this for 10 bucks, it's, it's, it's worth it. Uh, another one from Sue from the, the Dragon Star line. We've got a uh, Super Gohan or Gohan Beast, I mean. Now this one right here is like, eh, I've seen better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see that's the thing too. Like the Omega Shen o Shenron is considerably better than the rest because at least he's kinda like uh kinda like a like a monster he's kinda like a monster character. But uh yeah, this this one is uh this one's a little rough, man. And these don't even come with build a figure pieces anymore. Remember, these used to come with build a figures. I guess they stay eighty six that. Yeah. Will Gohan also twenty three bucks, July of twenty twenty three. And then now we got a two pack. We've got Piccolo and a Gamma two battle two battle pack. This is from the new movie, right? Uh, yeah. That's the. I think this is the movie where Gohan goes beast mode. I'm not familiar with Gamma One and Gamma Two. I I don't like the I don't like the animation in that movie. I'm still waiting it's for. Kinda, I'm waiting for the. I'm still waiting for the versions to come out. I'll watch it though. But until then, and, I haven't seen it's, anything. It's kind of kept me. Uh, it's kind of kept me from uh, watching it, but. Plus, why would you do a two pack with the one, two, and not the have one and two in a two pack? I, I wonder if it's a thing. Like, are these guys villains or are these like good guys? I, I don't know. Like, I know nothing about them. I think I wonder, they're I think they're androids with the red ribbon. Maybe. Then, then maybe maybe I could see. Yeah, this piccolo looks. I'm not gonna lie though. This sorry. piccolo don't look that bad though. I think I, I think he looks too skinny. I, mean, I always pictured, I always pictured Piccolo to be like taller and thicker. The green seems a little more richer, but I mean, scope wise, I think the body looks pretty decent. I'm like, I mean, I'm I'm just looking off of these photos. It's yeah. not uh, to me. It's not. It's not hateful. I I wonder if the uh, I wonder if the idea here is to. Uh, do like a battle pack, so like uh, you get like a good guy and you get like a like a bad guy for him to fight. Maybe. Like I'm wondering how much leg flexibility is he getting with this uh, skirt, this hip skirt right here. Uh, I'm gonna speculate and say next to none. I mean, the joints look like they got double joints on them. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I said, these are things I don't really mess with, so I can. <clears throat> but again, like I said, this there's a market. These are also good for those younger kit collectors who you know might not be as de you know delicate with their collection. So you can give them these, and they fuck it up. It's not the biggest loss than spending like eighty five to a hundred dollars on a on a on a, a high end figure, and they fuck that shit up. 
that's literally the only thing these have going for them is that they're good for like kids because i'm pretty sure if i was a kid i would probably be getting these figures right here because they're the most affordable yeah. yeah yeah for sure like that's that's really like the bright side of these like you're not gonna buy your kids shf for them to play with and break and like I said, you'll get more of your, you'll get more out of it with your money with it. Like I said, for a child, like a, a kid, like I said, with a hundred dollars, you can get about four, four figures right here. Hell, this two pack ain't even over 50 bucks. It's only, it's only 40. Yeah. Again, so like right I off said, the price... rip, 40. And the other two figures, that's that's eighty right there with, with your shipping and tax. Like I said, you you a hundred dollars right there for for four figures. You just you just want you just brought home to your kid. Again, yeah, like these, <coughs> these being as these being as cheap as they are, that's the that's the only thing they have going for them. Is that they're they're really they're really cheap. Forty bucks, July twenty twenty three. But like I don't know, like again, like uh, for 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 twenty five uh, bucks, get 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 a uh, get some Marvel Legends. Speaking of which, would you rather get the Marvel Legends or this? You got a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, SH Figuarts, Star Lord, and Rocket Raccoon. Does he uh, does he have his helmet? We'll find that. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> and like I, I don't want to figure a Chris Pratt, you know. I, I just I want the helmet. Don't look like you get a helmet. Uh, the Rocket Raccoon looks good though. Yeah, it's decent. Cause he doesn't really he I, he doesn't really wear the helmet anymore, right? Like even in the even in that god awful second Guardians of the Galaxy, barely uh, wears the helmet. Yeah, barely, you're right. This, like the only time the he puts the helmet on is it's like the, a big CGI fight scene, and then he'll have like the helmet on. But other than that, it's like nah, you're seeing nothing but Chris Pratt. That's it. Yeah, like remember, remember Infinity War when they all came through the portals. He had his helmet on, and then he took the helmet off, and that was that was the that was the end of it. And they're like, we need Chris Pratt front and center, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm passing. Uh, unless they add the helmet later, because I, I think he'll wear it like the classic comic helmet in the movie, but it's supposed to be a surprise. So I don't know. Quick, all right, all right, all right. Real quick, quick sidebar, quick sidebar. Do y'all do y'all think uh, someone's gonna die in this movie? Hmm, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, so they retain the titles, of course. Hey, man, good. I was a little worried they were gonna switch the titles back. Now I'm gonna uh, switch over to Rampage. Hopefully, won't be as uh, buggy. I don't think anyone's gonna die in the movie. Honestly, I think it, <clears throat> I think it's a red herring. Yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong unless they decide to, you know, uh, kill Groot again. Or wow, well, we we don't comes out uh, next Friday, so we don't have very long to wait. Oh, next Friday? Yeah. Oh damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, I mean, you know me. I I'm, I'm good on this. I don't. Much, uh, what you call it? Uh, movie, Marvel. Movies. I'm good on. I'm, I'm good on this. And it'll set you back. Too, as a matter of fact, like a buck thirty with a thirteen dollar deposit. I mean, for two figures, okay, or one and a half maybe. Yeah, but Rocket's like a mini figure. That's why I said one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> Bro, are you are you watching are you watching Rampage? I'm about to jump on a boat now and check it out. Since, 
since I missed it earlier. It's a, it's a, this is a pretty hot opening match. And, it, and I know because it's already been done, I don't get no Buffy, Skippy, Chimpy, Chumpy, Chumpy stuff. The so, fuck? You heard me. I did, I'm confused. Because this is Rampage, baby. That's why. I'm on a Rampage. You always on a Rampage. Cause Rampaging through these elements. Drunk, drunk on them candy corns that poison. All right, well, next. What? Moving on, next figure. From higher oh, toys. Oh, baby. We got Rambo. First Blood Part 2, John Rambo. one twelve scale. Let's go. That looks good. Uh, yeah. I kind of don't know now if I want this version more or if I want the part one version more. This one's got a bow and arrow, though. Look at that knife. That face is funny. He's got a grizzled face. Jimmy, I don't know. I don't know if it's in the. I don't know if it's in the fake news, but uh. Hey, toys! Uh, dropping some uh, some interesting s- stuff today. I saw a few, yeah. What did they? Drop but this, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this Rambo. Is, yeah, see, now I'm kind of leaning more in towards getting this one. Like, you get the shotgun, you get the machine gun, you get the bow and arrow. Yeah, that looks bad. Again, like I was saying with Godzilla, like this is kind of what I picture when I think about Rambo. Look, you get a fucking rocket launcher. Damn. Yeah, you get a lot of shit, man. That's pretty badass right there. Look at all those bow and arrows you get to to cause death and destruction. I don't plan to get the uh, higher versions, but if I would get one, I would get part one personally. Gojira's saying uh, part two is the one to get. He comes with more stuff. That's the cool thing. Is is there much of a price discrepancy? It's like, mm-hmm. here's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, like, all the extra stuff is great. I'm going to display him with the machine gun. I'm, I'm not going to probably display him with anything other than the machine gun. So if part one is maybe, like, cheaper but comes with less accessories. I don't know. You know, like, that's the great thing. That's the thing I love about Big Bad Toy Store is you can pre-order stuff and you don't have to worry about paying any deposits or anything. So I, I pre-ordered them both and I'll, I'll kind of make that decision when part one, when the part one Rambo uh, comes in stock, I'll kind of make that decision then. I don't have to make that decision right now, you know? Yep. That's what I love about BBTS, man. Do they get their stuff kind of late? Yes. Do they charge like a premium sometimes? Yes. But I, I just love having that ability. Well, Rambo is going to set you back. 90 bucks. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Fourth quarter, 2023. Hold on, let me see. What else did Higher Toys have? Because I might have missed it. What was new? Right there, right there. Oh, I think uh, I got the Judge Dread. I think I got the Dread. Yeah, that's it. That's the other thing I was talking about. All right, from Hasbro, we got the Star Wars Vintage Collection, Imperial Scout Trooper, and Speeder from The Mandalorian. So, come to the little baby in the bag. Yay. Looks good. Uh, if you, you can never have enough troopers, right? You can never you you can never have enough troopers. So, if you uh, you know this is a good opportunity, you could get another get another uh, scout trooper. You get the speeder bike. Get maybe Grogu in the satchel. Not bad. Roku. This is the original crane suit. <laughs> the original.
original crane suit. With a sack. That's where I came from. Bro, are you watching Rampage yet? Yeah, I'm watching it. It's, uh, I'm surprised they're kicking it off with this match. This seems like a, it's like a main event caliber match. It started off with the Switchblade, baby. I'm I'm glad uh I'm glad Sean Spears is back to doing the perfect ten. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, okay, we get we get to rock the perfect ten again. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm glad he's uh I'm glad he's back to doing that over the the chairman thing. Like, cool man, I get it. He tried something different, but uh, come on, man, can't you? The perfect ten is what made him uh so well known. Yeah. Uh, 45, uh, 46 bucks, December of 2023. <clears throat> also, from uh, Hasbro, we got Star uh, Wars Black uh, Series, Mandalorian Fleet Commander from the Mandalorian. So, it's just basically just a, ran a rando mando. The rando I mando to NXT add to right? your collection. Yeah. The last one was the NXT people. Yeah, yeah so I them this is uh, this was this is basically like uh, like a true builder kind of. It's it's cool. It's another Mando. Um, uh, it's another Mando that uh, you can throw on your shelf. And if you have some other heads, you know, like if you have some like Marvel Legends heads and stuff, you could probably uh, do some head swaps and you know. I mean, it's cool. not a bad yeah, looking get... like Mandalorian, just a rando Mando. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing too. Is like he's just kind of put on his own. Like, uh, like I said, I, I have the Bo Katan, I have the Casca Reeves, like I have Axe Wolves, and I have the the uh, I, f I forget what it was called, the Mandalorian Trooper or whatever. So I'm just gonna put him with, with that kind of crew and. It'll be like a little team. I think it's going to look uh, nice. Rando. Mando. Rando. Mando. Like, if you were like, if he, like, just the kind of Rando Mando, like, if you were good at, like, figure painting, like, you repaint this motherfucker and get, make a custom out of him. Cause People, like, I can I can definitely see this like because his 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 look is so basic that all it really would take was just a repaint. Like you don't even gotta do nothing to the head sculpt because like I, I would never display him without the helmet on anyway. Like this could be anybody. This is like a bootleg John Boyega if you ask me, and they just slapped on a figure. The bootleg Boyega with a rando mando. You mean you telling me you ain't looked at his face and he don't look like bootleg Boyega? I mean, uh, look at him. Yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, bootleg Boyega, that right there. Looks more like Boyega does than Boyega. I don't know. Like if I had the skills and I knew how to like re like paint shit, I would I would I would repaint this like a badass color scheme, son. That shit would be hot fire. The man with the rando mando. Give me that rando mando. Give me that rando mando. His name ain't Boba Fat. It's Boba Flat. <laughs> rando mando set you back twenty six bucks. February of twenty twenty four, allegedly. Also from Hasbro, we got Star Wars Black Series Yoda Force FX Elite Lightsaber from the Book of Boba Fett. Man, they just taking over that man show. You know, Here's a white... money talks. Mm -hmm. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. So it's basically just a baby lightsaber now. Yeah. 
That's it. It's a baby saber. For $250. I like how it they does use come the with like a little old, uh, Kyber crystal. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I would still like to go to that fourth place in Disney and make my own lightsaber, though. That would be dope. You know, the downside about buying these lightsabers is that 99% of the time they're not lit up. And so you're just stuck with a $250 gray stick. It'd be cool if they had like an interchangeable green, you know, portion that doesn't need to be lit up. What they really should do is the 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 tube should be the color of the saber, so that way when it's not displayed, you'll at least have kind of the the light, almost light piping of the of the of the plastic, and then when it turns on, it just illuminates that color. So, like you said, at least another like a dead saber. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that's true. Like, not make it like crazy bright of the color, but have it just be like you know that translucent. Mm hmm. So it'd be like a translucent blue, a translucent green, translucent purple, translucent red, and it'll be a very faint light, like like not dark, but light enough that it's like okay, it doesn't make it look like a kid's lightsaber but still look legit on display. Unless you're one of those savages that just like to display the hills of your lightsaber. <laughs> Whoa. I, I, nah, not me. Those people are monsters. Somebody <laughs> was showing me somebody yeah. yesterday and I was like, I had to tell him, I was like, this person is a menace. And you know why I said they were a menace? They had a shelf full of nendroids. I was like, that person's a menace. Run away. <laughs> Run away in Minecraft. Shelf full of nendroids. You don't like nendroids, man? I'm a collector. I like nendroids. Collect them. I have uh I have uh two three nendroids. It's three too many, that's brother. Okay. That's that's uh, that, you know, that's uh, at least acceptable, but when you have like the whole shelf Two shells full of nendroids, like an army, and you build your own dolls. Run away! Oh my! And yeah, my there's this uh, there's this dude at my work. He, like, uh, he's all about like nendroids. The only ones I ever got were I got Kirby, I got Meta Knight, and I got the the dog from uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, but those make sense. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. I I got those because they made sense. But I'm I'm also gonna buy the shit out of the shovel knight and android. Mm. All right. Well, two fifty f February of twenty twenty four, allegedly. Now from Hasbro, the vintage collection we have Hunter from the Bad Batch, which it was on pre order, but now I guess it's in stock now. Uh, right. Yeah, people people have been waiting for this one for. Uh, for a long time so uh you know the vintage collection people you uh finally Ooh. getting your uh you getting your bad batch i knew Happy sean spears was gonna take that l though yeah <laughs> yeah yeah for sure he was gonna take he was gonna take the l here but hey man i'm just happy he uh i'm just happy he showed up I I know that's a shitty like attitude to have. Or I'm just happy he's here, but I'm I'm just happy he's back, and I'm just happy he's getting some play. He's got it. If that means he's got to eat an L, so be it. It's a good looking hunter. Yeah, man. Uh, I I think they're I think they're. Uh, I think their uh, season one looks are objectively much better than their season two looks. So I'm all, I'm all, I'm all right with it. You know, and like I said, uh, vintage collection collectors, they've been waiting a long time for a bad batch. So I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you, you finally, you finally getting it. You deserve it. You deserve it, TVC collectors. Well, 
Hunter here. In stock now, 18 bucks. There you go. Another one that's also was in pre-order now in stock is the Vintage Collection Star Killer Vader's Apprentice uh, Extended uh, Universe, which kind of surprised there's actually fucking around with a Star Killer right now. Yeah, I'm a I'm a little salty here, man. I know we're supposed to get Black Series Star Killer at some point, but uh, I'm waiting for. I'm a little salty. TVC is getting it first. I'm not gonna lie, but okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll let them have this. I'll let them have this because they had <laughs> to wait so long for their bad batch. You're treating them like they're the victims, <laughs> bro. Why they? Said they caught your man Isaiah lacking. <laughs> uh, I'm the victim here, Jimmy, because I don't have a star killer. Oh man! So you're not going in on this? No, man. I I don't do the I don't do the baby figures. Come on now. <laughs> the baby figure. I don't do. I ain't I don't a do bitch. Figures. I don't do the baby figures. I don't do fucking baby toys. I'm telling, I'm telling the vintage community on you. Fuck the vintage community. I just recorded that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't collect fucking McDonald's toys. I want action figures. <laughs> oh, okay, what's the Disney toys downstairs? I want fucking action figures. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got Disney toys. Not these, not these Star Wars baby toys. Not these playmate knockoffs. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you one. That's decent. Oh, be right back. That's what I was bucks. hoping you would say. In stock now. Also from uh, Vintage Collection, 40th anniversary, we've got Admiral Pratt or Pite. Uh, we already have Admiral Piat in the Black Series, so I'm okay with this. They can have it. We 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 done had Admiral Piat. <laughs> Looks nice though. Wish I had pants like that. Keep supplies in there. 18 bucks now available. Storm Collectibles. You got Soul Caliber VI. Taki, 112 scale. Taki? Um, Taki was one of the characters that I mained in Soul Caliber. Looks nice. Ooh, booba. Look at those booba. I can't go down another Storm Collectibles rabbit hole. They'll get you somehow. Again. If they release like a nightmare, I'll buy the shit out of a nightmare. Gojira says lockdown Taki. She looks really nice, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see they're going in on that Soul Calibur now. So I, w I would expect more characters to come. Because I think this is about like the second or third we've seen from Storm Collectibles from Soul Calibur. I do believe, yeah, this is the second. Yo, my man Keith Lee is keeping it extra gray now, son. He not even he not even getting a little touch of gray. He said, "Fuck that shit." Over here, looking like a silver back. Yeah, 
was kind of the new team of uh, natural, naturally limitless. Limitless. He's he's like, you know what? Why do I need to? I got a hot Asian wife. I don't need just for men anymore. Bro, she blasted out the lips in the outfit, though. Yeah. It's cold. In, it's cold out there in them streets. <laughs> Why do you think she was one of my mains? Because <laughs> you a deviant. Oh, Ivy, you already know Gojira. Yeah, if they do Ivy and Nightmare, I'll get those two. Hundo, third quarter of 2023. Stop looking at you, stupid idiot. Third quarter of 2023. From Super 7, we got Star Trek The Next Generation Ultimates, Captain Picard. I'm still on the fence about this one. I feel, is this the finished product for real? Because that's a nice face sculpt if it is. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Again, Star Trek is one of those lines where I'm, I'm cher I cherry pick at best. But, uh, I wouldn't mind getting, uh, getting a Picard. Oh, this is the Super Seven Picard. Yeah, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Yeah. Nothing I'd uh, I'd pick up. I'm not into Star Trek like that, but still looks good. Yo, you see your old Chris Nana's mask, man? Yeah. Why he look like a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Tell me he don't, though. You do, you're right, you do. <laughs> Picard set you back 55 bucks. Fourth quarter of 2024. Also from Super 7, we got Worf. Worf. Dang. Dang, yeah, he looks good. Mm -hmm. With his ribs. <clears throat> Definitely looks good. I want Worf, but I want him to be dressed more like a traditional Klingon. That I'd fuck with. Bro, we got Whoopi Goldberg twice in this line? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We did. What the fuck? We're like, we only have this license for so long. Let's just... 55. Trust me, no one else will to Whoopi. Well, that's too bad. You're getting more Whoopi. <laughs> With her funny hat. Get your Whoopi on. He's like, I banged every one of the cast members. <coughs> My god, okay. This yeah, this is a... uh this is an easy pass. You don't want no whoopee? No. Oh. I'll get you one. Thanks, buddy. Just send it in a box with my Star Killer vintage collection. Donald's toy. <laughs> Whoopi, go set you back 55 November 2023. And from uh, Echo 6, we got Star Trek Voyagers Ensign Harry Kim 1 6 scale. I don't even know who this is. You never watched Star Trek Voyager? It's been a long time. I don't remember who this is. 
He's the other Asian from Star Trek not named Sulu. Um, <laughs> um can we have Sulu? We have Sulu at home. He's a part of Captain Janeway's crew. He's like, I'm it looks good for what it is. Kim. Ew. All sack. <laughs> what the? Right. The butthead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that at first. <laughs> How can you not? The butthead? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, like your, face, your face is touching the butthead, Matt. <laughs> good. That's how I. That's what I want. Ew. <laughs> That ain't right. That's a lumpy coin purse. Except my... Never mind, never mind. No, 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 you go ahead. (laughs) Go ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say, like, uh, that's where my head should be, but a bit closer to the crack. Jesus Christ. There you go. Okay, that's that's right. Right. Wish granted. That's right. That's right. That feels right. It's like a, it's like right. a coin purse. That's the thing they rub against our transformers at Target. Oh my god. Oh, you monster. Correction, leave, that's leave what it to, I rub Leave it to candy corn to ruin everything. Hey, no. not a racist slur. One hundred and seventy-five dollars, a seventeen fifty deposit, June of twenty twenty-three. Oh damn! Already sold out from NECA. We got Gargoyles Ultimate Goliath video game version, um, which I didn't uh, know we yeah. was getting. We was uh, we just we not we just doing little side projects with the video game versions. I, I guess, guess it's just. A- it's an easy repaint for them, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's quick. To be honest, I would <laughs> actually use this as Goliath in stone mode. Is uh is that is that first Goliath released? Is he is he still uh plentiful or is he hard to come by? You can find him in some Walmarts if you're lucky. He's still sitting around a lot of Walmarts and maybe a few targets. Cool. But I know every time I go to Walmart, I see a Goliath. So I wonder if it's a thing where, like that, if that first one is uh, tough to find, maybe people are just getting this as a. I think it's kind of like a. But I think he's, I think he's still available on BBCS though. That's because he's the main character. Uh, see here you go. Gojira says not bad. I got screwed out of the. Uh, OG release Goliath. Hold on. Yeah, I'm I curious. Think, I think, yeah, Gar- Goliath is still available if you, he's on BBTS. Okay, yeah, then I don't know. It's Maybe people uh, easy repaint, you know. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking he he. I would I would I would use him as Goliath in stone because he looks like he's in stone. Yeah. I think they're going to be doing stone version. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing. But I'm surprised it's already sold out on BBTS already. Yeah, I'm very surprised, but I'm I'm happy about it. I'm glad uh, I'm glad this line is uh, doing well. Who's that in the blonde? Go get you a Goliath, Gojira. Go get you a Goliath. Yeah, get that, get that, get that OG Goliath. Does he come with the with the the tower, the clock tower? I like though that they decided to just add the flat the so cover quiet. wings with them, so it's like it's okay. The same wings that you get with Bronx. Appreciate it. Yeah, I guess so. Like if you want, uh, 
I guess if you want a video game, Goliath, this is probably like it, right? Like, I don't think we'll get another one. I like the box though, like a single puzzle. Yeah, the box is nice. The uh, the video game line is perfect if you keep them like MOC, cause yeah, they like they look nice. Again, sold out already, so hopefully they get restocked. If not, you might have to try to find it when it's in the wild. It will drop May of 2023 for 42 bucks. Oh, baby. Uh, right from Mattel. Masters of the Universe. Snake Mountain. <coughs> Snake Mountain playset. Yeah, I just saw that. Looks uh, looks awesome, man. You getting it? Nope. No, I am not getting it. Well, oh, okay. I remember having Snake Mountain when I was a kid, and it looked just like this. Is this like recreated, yeah, this is... or this is the yeah, upscale? Yeah, this is a. No, no, this is the origin. So this is like a the same model as the original, same size, everything. Although the snake is a little bit different, but everything else is kind of the same now. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, like if you got the Castle Grayskull, <clears throat> and if you uh, if you backed the uh, Journey of Playset, and uh, I don't know, you might want this too. Snake Mountain. Eighty five bucks for Skull Mountain from Snake Mountain. August of twenty twenty three. Here we go. Ah, this is what I was talking about. Yes, so Hyatt Toys uh again they they're going uh they're going uh head first into the one twelfth. Scale, getting a 112th scale Judge Dredd. I think he looks really cool, man. Big. I'm not going to lie. I think he looks cool. It looks good, and this is a 6-inch, so this ain't the little one. No, it's like a 6-inch Dredd. Comes with the Lawmaster, with the baton. Yeah, you, I think he looks great. Jimmy, are you going to get this? Um, Probably not. I, I got the Mezco one. Yeah, me too. I got the Mezco one. But if I didn't have the Mezco Dread, I for sure would be getting this. Yeah. And that Mezco Dread's hard to come by, so this is good for people who didn't get it. Yeah. I think it was an early enough release where uh, a lot of those early Mezco figures, Mezco was still kind of, like, underground. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you had to be, like, a real collector if you were fucking with Mezco. You had to be, like, really, like, in the thick of things. You know what I mean? Like, you're... Your your fair weather collector was not really fucking with like Mezco back then, so I think a lot of people missed out on that. Yeah, I got and the yeah uh, the vehicle. And then again, he kind of came out, and then they 
the one thing I'll give Mezco is they don't tend to do re-releases. So once something comes out, and once it sells out, it's usually gone. That looks nice. This is their second uh, 112th, right? I, I, yeah, because I, I think the first one they did is uh, the Rambo. Yeah. I'm curious what else they'll do in 112. <coughs> oh, shoot. Do, shit. do you think they could do, like, AVP stuff in the in that scale? Mm, that's what I was thinking. Um, I think they're allowed. So who knows? Oh, oh my God. If they did, like, a Wolf Predator before NECA. Oh, then... <laughs> Then yeah, then I basically say fuck NECA. <laughs> yeah, go that's on. That's what that's what we need. See, we need someone else to enter in the one twelve AVP market. Put a little pressure on, like, hey NECA, like you're not gonna release the Ultimate Wolf Predator. Don't worry, I'll release it. We need someone to put the pressure on them a little bit. They got beef with Haya too, so it'll be really funny. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, Dredd's going to set you back 90 bucks, fourth quarter, 2023. Oh, my. From Mezco, <clears throat> excuse me, we got the Living Dead Dolls, Egg Zorcist. Uh, okay. I love it. I figured Matt with it would appreciate it. That's creepy. I'm getting I'm getting three of these. I'm getting one for each of us. But what if I want more than one? John Moxley uh, Omega for the United States title? Right now? No, on, on Dynamite in a steel cage. Oof. Yeah, it's, I don't know, man. It's cool. I, oh. I, don't, I don't fuck with these. Oh, my God. That face. Oh, my God. I want it even more now. If I had a face more. like that, would you guys still be friends with me? Well, we'll no. just keep the camera off. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. If you had a... I ain't got to come back. Reason the reason why I'm saying no is because if you had a face like that, like our friendship, I think would be stronger. Oh, um, but you're my boyfriend. That's right. That's right. Don't ever forget that. Oh, Mark Briscoe. You're my boyfriend. You're all my boyfriends. We're all everyone's no. boyfriends. All your... <laughs> everyone's boyfriends. What were you doing over the weekend? Hanging out with my two boyfriends on a stream? Hanging with my boyfriend. <laughs> what did he say? Hey! Oh. She's got a fish. The fuck? Oof. Oh, yeah, maybe I should get my camera off. Yeah, that's. That's nightmare huh. fuel right there, though. I like it. You want you want to pick it up? No. Oh. You should get you should get one for the wife. Uh, yeah, she would like that. Say, this is my way of saying thank you for putting together all these future models. <laughs> <laughs> The icing on the cake in this future. <laughs> yeah, like all the all the model kits still to come. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not the ones you already did, but the ones to come. Because <laughs> yeah. let's let's keep it real. <laughs> it's like I just ordered twelve Gundams. Build them for me. So, like I was saying earlier, before we started the show, I don't mean to sidetrack because I was staring at it. 
I got an extra bat coming and a crimson guard. So Sergeant Slaughter's got three people to beat up on, right? But I'm thinking, how many more bats can should I get that Sarge can just like really like beat up on? I feel four might be the cutoff. Okay. But I also want to get more crimson guards. Uh, we're 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 on different wavelengths. Huh? I was thinking like ten. Ten? No. Yeah. I shouldn't be talking actually. But here's the <laughs> thing. I, speak that retro one, the crimson one, I think it could fit in because I look at him in like rank. So it's like the regular Crimson Guards are just the soldiers. The redder one would be like a higher ranking officer, especially since he has a different color face mask anyway. Exactly, yeah. Like he would be like a he would be like a lieutenant or something. While it's like, like the, the other dudes are just, just the like soldiers. Brunch. So it might it might serve its purpose, but I still haven't seen one in a while. I have seen the Destro and the Baroness and Lady J in the retro cards. I've seen. I, I see you've entered the black hole successfully. The, no, because I'm not. Because I'm not pick. I'm specifically just doing one thing. I'm I want to display for the Sarge, and since I couldn't get Serpentor, I'm gonna have a little Crimson Army for the Sarge to beat up on. Are you going to get, like, a Snake Eyes and a Storm Shadow? No. No other Joe. The only Joe is the Sarge. The only other people I would buy in the G.I. Joe classified wave is Crimson Bats, Crimson Guards, and, I, and I'm still deciding if I really want to go in on the Twins. Oh, you got to get the Twins. They're like the cherry on top of the... Sunday. Well, yeah, I figured that if I'm building a Crimson Army, you know, you gotta have the head of extensive enterprise. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Well, but yeah, but other than that, like I have no, I have no desire in other Cobra soldiers. The only ones that I might have, I might have thought about were the Vipers, but I like Crimson Guards more than I like the Vipers. And the bat, I was going to fuck with the original bat, but the original bat's not even color accurate because, like I said, the face should be red. Mm -hmm. not, not, not that gray shit. But the crimson bat, I like this look. And to be honest with you, you know what it reminds me of? Okay. It looks like a hybrid of a Mandalorian. Yeah. And... And you're like, oh, but it's got robot arms. But fuck, motherfuckers in Star Wars have robot arms. Yep. And the helmet looks like a, it would be like a medieval Mandalorian helmet. Plus, he's got the backpack yeah. that kind of looks like a jetpack. And he's got a little gun, so he's almost like a Mandalorian. <laughs> the bat, although not super accurate was is a really nice figure yeah it's not crazy accurate but i like what they did like there's I, i've been looking at other people's reviews on this and not everybody's crazy about the crimson bat but i'm like i i kind of like it i like, I like the, the look that I, I like the crimson bat yeah because that mold is already great and you know when you just turn them you just turn them red yeah it just makes them so he looks so much better. Like the I weakest think. one to me would be the Python Patrol bat. Yeah, agreed. Like the classic one, you can't go wrong. Even with the face being messed up, that's that's an easy paint job fix. But yeah, Python Patrol to me is the weakest one. But the Crimson Bat is is is, is kind of a surprise, and I, I, I'm pleasantly I'm pleased with it. That to the point where I was like, shit. I I, I went out. I found this one in the wild, and then I went and bought it and ordered another one. Yeah, yeah. The bat is the bat is super. Nice. But this one's one special. One. I I painted the bottom of one of his feet black, so I know this is always the first one. I've even given him a number. He is bat four twenty. <laughs> he is bat number four twenty. So. Love it. 
but I'll always remember he's the first one. His foot is his foot is the only one that's gonna be painted but one foot black. So I can never forget which one is the first one. So. But I'm still hoping to get a Serpentor, but like I said, I, I, I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a wait. I feel like other, I feel other G.I. Joe will come out before I see Serpentor come back out again. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, see a Serpentor on the, on the retro car. Yeah, but if he doesn't have the chariot, then it's almost like what's the what's the point? Yeah. Like unless they unless they put him in the retro like a retro box set like he how he originally came, then then I could see that maybe. You know what? Just just keep checking on Pulse because he sometimes pops in and out of stock. Yeah, I'm, I got I gotta be I I gotta be more visual when it comes to Serpentor. Well, this uh, Death Doll here, this ex, she's gonna set you back a buck twenty, November of twenty twenty three. From Mayfex, we got a Star Wars Rogue One, Darth Vader version one point five. Hmm. Looks good, man. Yeah, yeah looks fine. I've been kind of trying to look for a decent looking Vader to, to get in on. I don't know if I want to go the extra mile of going like a Mayfix. Like I kind of wanted to stay with Hasbro, but I was looking at the catalog of Vader's to buy them. Like, I'm not sure which one is the best one to buy. The, okay. If you want a Vader right now, get the Kenobi Vader. Get the Kenobi Vader? Yeah, get the Kenobi Vader because that one's got a... That one's a new buck where it's got a slightly better articulation or you can you can hold out because they're making an, another Vader from Kenobi that comes with an alternate uh, helmeted head that's all like smashed up and you can see the Anakin face. Isn't that we wasn't that the one we looked up with the helmet comes off? No, that was the Return of the Jedi one. Yeah, so this is a new one. You can... You can wait and get that one, but if you want a Vader now, the Kenobi, the Vader from Kenobi is the is the best Vader, is the best Vader right now. I like that he comes with the little effect with the lightsaber. That's pretty cool, though. See, I, I, uh, I, I, only reason like this one, I, I'm not like saying like this is a strong candidate. Is because I've already fucked with Mayfex shit, and they're not that reliable. <laughs> I, I, Mayfex is all right. They're yeah, hitting, but they miss, have their yeah, they have their flaws. They're though. hit and miss. Yeah, yeah, they're very hit and miss. I would, I wouldn't buy a Star Wars import. Uh, Gojira, that Empire Strikes Back Vader was definitely nice. Uh. I actually still have the original uh, Red Box Vader, but uh, the, the the Kenobi Vader is the best. Is the best Black Series Vader, bar none. I would honestly, uh, I would honestly stick with that one. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, go for the Mayfex one. Well, a hundred bucks for Vader, ten dollar deposit. November of 2023. Also from Mayfex, we get a Zack Snyder's Justice League Aquaman. Aquaman. Which is kind of a little so, bit late on to the party, really? Yeah. Yeah, it seems, uh, seems very strange to me that we're getting this now. But if you were looking for a more articulated Jason Momoa version of Aquaman, well... Now you're in luck. Like um, even, like even, uh, even if this had come out around the release of the Snyder Cut, would have made a little bit more sense. But yeah, this just seems, uh, 
It just seems very late, man. This just seems very late to be getting a Jason Momoa Aquaman. I don't know. They're probably targeting those. Uh, there's still a prominent, you know, Snyder community. So, un- un- unless, unless this was meant to be uh, tied closer with the release of a uh, next Aquaman movie, but that movie's been pushed back so many times. Yeah. Maybe it's that. Like, maybe this Aquaman was supposed to come out closer to the movie, but maybe just the movie got pushed back so many times. And Like, it looks good, though. Like, it looks good. Yeah, I mean, I was never a fan of his Snyder costume. <clears throat> so, I, I wouldn't personally... I kind of prefer the gold, but... Or the orange, I mean. Yeah. Like from the ending of the Aquaman movie, but, you know. Buck 10 with $11 deposit, April of 2024 for this Aquaman. Come out them pockets. Keeping on that Mayfex train, we got Mandalorian, Mayfex, Ahsoka Tanu. Uh, so you get a more yeah, looks, Rosario Dawson style Ahsoka. Bro. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I've, I've said it before. I don't have an issue with Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka. She's just not my Ahsoka. Uh, like if like if I needed a Ahsoka, I I wouldn't buy like a Rosario Dawson one. Like that would never be my definitive Ahsoka. But I'm not mad at it. It looks nice. Uh, I I agree with you. I I opted not to because I wanted the uh, Hot Toys Ahsoka, but I opted to get the Clone Wars version, not the uh, the you know TV show version. Although you could probably use this as like a, excuse me, a good stand-in for the, for the tune shelf because yeah, you does, could, you could absolutely yeah, because it doesn't really look like Rosario Dawson here. That face scans rough, so uh, I, 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 again, uh, to elaborate, I I, ar- I already have Ahsoka. <clears throat> I I got Ahsoka. I got the again. I got. I, I, I've I've been I've been on the Black series since the very beginning. I jumped in on the very first wave. So a lot of my collection, it's the first one. So again, I got their first release of Ahsoka. And I, I did an upgrade her when they made the Clone Wars season seven Ahsoka. And I'm I'm if I didn't upgrade into that one, I'm certainly not gonna upgrade to Rosario Dawson. But if I didn't have an Ahsoka, I would pick this up and I would just be okay with it. I mean, it's not a bad looking Ahsoka. Lethal <clears throat> injection. Lethal injection. Jay Lethal get the win too. Oh man, that's two for two. You know what though? Like, if they were gonna put the titles on Jeff Jarrett and a Lethal, I think they would have had them go over the acclaim, right? I don't think they're gonna do it now. Mm, maybe they will now. Who knows? Buck Again, 20, I said it before. I, I, I. I wouldn't be mad at it. Like Jeff Jarrett should hold some kind of championship in AEW for sure. Like just for the just just for them as a company, like whether whether Jeff Jarrett, whether you like him or not, or whether people think he's a draw or not, he, 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 you have to accept that the man is a legend in the in the business. So I I think it would be good for that company to have somebody like Jeff Jarrett hold a championship because that's something in fifteen years from now we can look back and say like Jeff Jarrett was a 
as a tag team champion, you know? It, it's, it's just a name that'll look good on a list. Like, the very same reason, you know, having Chris Jericho as the world champion. Again, I, I, I'd make the same argument for Sting. Like, I think Sting and Darby Allen should win the tag titles before he retires, you know? I mean, oh. I could. But I think they're so focused on getting him in this world title picture, they don't want to take have him take a step back to, like, the lower card. Yeah, absolutely they are. You're, you're absolutely right about that. All right, but buck twenty for the Ahsoka, twelve buck deposit, April of twenty twenty four. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that price either. I know. I know how you feel, kid. Hot toys, Star Wars. <laughs> we got Jedi Survivor. We got a Scout Trooper Commander one six scale collectible figure. Mm, kind of weird that we got uh, a trooper from the game before uh, the main character, but I mean, that's like we say. You have troopers. Looks good. Pretty much just added some uh, belts and patches and shoulder pads. Newly Very developed. detailed, though. Yeah. But this is a weird, like, I, I'm. I see. I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know why you would start off with this cat with with a, with a, with a scout trooper commander as the for, for Jedi survivor and not like the main yeah. character Cal Kestis. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Yeah, you know? that's a that's a weird decision. Like like I said, I haven't played the game, so I don't know. Does the scout tra trooper play a pivotal role or something? Am I missing something? I, I very much doubt it. I, I think they just saw a way to take an old figure and recycle it. Because like the the scout trooper has been made a thousand times, so. But yep, yeah, there you go. Two fifty five with a twenty five fifty deposit, December of twenty twenty four, allegedly. From sideshow collectibles, we got a dirty Harry Premier format Harry Callahan statue. Uh that face is just really bad. I've said it before, and I always get shit for it, but Saicho does not know how to do human faces. They only know how to do creatures. That, that's just... That does not look like $600 worth of Clint Eastwood replica to me, you know? Uh, that looks like a Toon version. What's going on, Trunks? I have their six scale. Yeah, figure. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think this. Uh, I agree. I don't think the face looks good at all here. Okay. Yeah, it's not the best Clint Eastwood. Their six scale is a lot better. I have that one. I mean, the rest of it looks good. Oh, look at old that's ass a... Clint Eastwood. Look at this man. Look at this dang, guy. Dang, dang. What? That's a weird base, though. Like, why do they have just a random, like, pipe water coming out of it? It's part of the mm, scene that's... in the movie. That's why. And when he's walking towards the the, the robbers. Uh, never saw that movie. You never saw Dirty Harry? Nah. What? Damn. Son. 
Damn, you you gotta you gotta get your shit together over there. I like uh... Cliff. Like you, you son of a bitch. You ain't seen my movies. <laughs> Come over here, punch you right in your Canadian mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, I like a fistful of dollars though. You say, you'll get That's a fistful good. of my my knuckles if you don't go see my movie. <laughs> My man is your son. What is he? He's like he's he's, he's pushing like a hondo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God bless him, son. Also, uh, R.I.P. to Jerry Springer. Yeah, Jerry Springer, man. Yeah, R.I.P. Son, you may you you entertained a lot of my Friday afternoons and Friday mornings while I did school <laughs> and hung out with friends. We watched. Two hours of Jerry Springer and some Maury. So, R.I.P. Jerry, you will be missed. Like, the figures of Clint that they've done so far have been pretty decent. Statue, not so much. Oh, man. Yeah. If, if, they, if they make a 112 man with no name, I'd buy, I'd buy the shit out of that. Well... This one's gonna set you back six thirty with a sixty three dollar deposit, February of twenty twenty four. Oh my god! Now from PCS Collectibles, we got Lady Death, one fourth statue. Oh my god! I'm getting this. Hey yo, what do you say? Can't see her amazing yama booty. <laughs> Your amazing yama booty. <laughs> what a what a what a callback. <laughs> amazing yama. How about her uh, yeah, amazing yama boobies? <laughs> I wish that little skull in there was me. I can't give you your amazing yama booty, but I can give you amazing yama boobies right here. So yama booba. Yama booba. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting this for sure. Listen, I I think. If How much is this? Eight hundred? I don't care. Worth it. Just put my face in there really quick. <laughs> just put it in my face. <laughs> just... Yo, here you go, man. I put here you go. I put it in your face, Jimmy. Yeah. Wow. I'll put it right here. Put it in your face. You gotta oh. you gotta censor it out, Jimmy. There you go. See. You're censoring it now. Your head is on her, on her, on her. Hey, Nano, Nano. Damn, I just got robbed. You did get robbed. I thought we were friends. We are friends. I just blessed you and put your face on her. Hey, Nano, Nano. Listen, I didn't want to be put in a... Never mind. Here, I'll put you on her amazing Yama Boobas then. Hold on. Yeah, I'll put your face right in between her amazing Yama boobas. Look at that. Look at that. I don't want that. You've been blessed. Look at that, right? I'm, I'm 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 like the dragon, like that's sitting behind. Like I'm just like watching you guys go at it. And I'm like uh, I'm liking it. You're like, what are you doing to my boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. And why am I a dragon, he said. You know what happened. You know what it is. But you know what we forgot, Matt. We forgot to give this this guy right here his daily dose of uh, a booty. That's what it was. See, yeah, we didn't have no booty for him. <laughs> he wasn't right to that. Uh, that's why he's acting up. That's why he's acting up. He didn't get his booty, Tay. I didn't get it. He didn't get his booty. Thank you. I'll be. I'll behave now. Behave now. You got that's your booty. Okay. All right, man. Behave yourself. I don't forget, brother. He's Get like, your memory check, brother. Brother, you need your medicine, brother. You were you weren't acting. You weren't acting right. Some, you need a Snickers. Snickers <laughs> right there, brother. Seven hundred and thirty-five dollars, brother, with a hundred and ten dollar and twenty-five cent deposit in case you change your mind, brother. <laughs> December of twenty twenty-three, brother. That's nothing. Nothing. I'm getting overly priced. Did you, Godzilla? 
That's a different kind of sexy. We got Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Titan of the Monster Verse, Godzilla Atomic Charge Edition, Limited Edition Vinyl Statute. Oh my god. That looks very cool. Yeah, it looks cool. That's Ooh. right. He is a pervert, Daniel. He's a pervert, Jimmy. I bet Gojira, oh. I bet Gojira is going getting this. Je- Gojira is already on the Probably phone. Probably already pre-ordered. He yeah. already picked up the phone. He was like, hello, how much money is in my bank? Give it all to the statue. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I don't need to eat this week. <laughs> he said, water, water's still an option for me. What do you mean my bank account's empty? He said, my body can feed off itself. <laughs> and, get my, <laughs> and get its nutrients. <laughs> the human body can do amazing things. All I need is, all I need is some Flintstones chewables and I'll be okay. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, good. You got it on lockdown. Hold on. There you go. You call his bank. See? He's like, We are Flintstones, kid. 10 million <laughs> strong. And seven. Wow, look at the size of that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Mass- that's, that's massive right there. Yeah. Like the size of a kid. Jesus. How much Shit. is this? Nah, for the broke boys, it's not that expensive. It, it's doable. Like a thousand oh. bucks? It's only like a thousand. With a hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> deposit in case you change your mind though. I don't know, mm. like a hundred and fifty deposit is not bad for a thousand dollar But you'll change your mind. I, I do tend to pay deposits and then change my mind. I've done stop, that at least. Three stop times. doing that shit, son. Hey, even even Godzilla's looking at you like, yo, cut that shit out, man. Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Yeah. Stop changing your mind. You buy me. I'm getting one. Oh, I'm getting no. One. I'm getting one for each of us. Gojira, why? That's my latest thumbnail, too. <laughs> but that will do it for do do? Figment. Shut up. Shut up. Fig news is done. I'm saving, I'm saving this to my camera roll for unrelated. Gojira, Gojira, you gotta show the love, man. Well, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. That sounds like something to me. Something is nothing. It's opposite. Thing. Well, since we just finished fig news, y'all want to get into the topic at hand? Yeah. Start it off, man. All right, so we uh we got an announcement the other day that uh we're getting uh getting more more monsterverse. If you uh, <laughs> damn, I know what he's laughing at. <laughs> if you uh if you like Godzilla versus Kong, and uh, you're 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 in luck because uh, they they announced a sequel. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So what do you guys think? Like, we already had Godzilla fighting Kong. Where do you think is the net? Where do, where do we go from here? Like, where does the MonsterVerse go from here? Because you know we've already we've already uh, seen Ghidorah. We've seen Mecha Godzilla. So uh, what do you guys think is next? For the future of the monster verse, I mean, I, I know this new movie isn't uh, like Godzilla and Khan won't be fighting; they're going to be fighting a new enemy. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, yeah, what do you think. Uh... Well, everybody's been uh, theorizing that it's Space Godzilla, and that'll set up the next movie. But I don't know. And apparently, there's a new like King Khan style of Titan. Uh, but I, I don't know who that is. Apparently, he's one of the villains. Uh, I don't know where it goes from here. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I like. Uh, I like Space Godzilla. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. Uh, 
I wouldn't be like against it. No, no, I, I wouldn't be either. I think that would be awesome. What about Godzilla versus <laughs> Robo King Ghidorah? <laughs> like in this photo right here. What, what you laughing at? That son of a gun. Oh, Gojira is too good, son. <laughs> Did he send you the. Never mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh Would god! He, hold on, he just sent me another one. I don't. I'm gonna put. It. I don't know if I want to open it. Uh, Gojira's too good, son. He's too good. But yeah, maybe uh, like like we saw like uh, <laughs> maybe like yeah, like Mecha King Ghidorah. Although I I don't know if I want to necessarily see Ghidorah again. You know. <laughs> Why not? Sorry. Why, uh, why don't you want to see him uh, again? It's, it's it's not that I don't want to see him. It's just that uh, there's there's monsters that I would like to see before uh, getting King Ghidorah again. You know, destroy. I'd much, yeah, like like destroy a destroy a would be would be good. Guy again, Angurus. Yeah, guy uh, again. It's hard to theorize where it's going to go because it can literally go anywhere. There's I, so I, many stories and villains to pick from. Yeah, but I want to see them. I want to see them maybe explore like uh, at the end of uh, at the end of uh, King of the Monsters, like we saw all those other Titans or uh, we're going towards Godzilla. Like we had the big like mammoth. And there was like I think there was like a big spider, like there was a bunch of them. They were all kind of traveling towards Godzilla, and then they never really touched on that on Godzilla versus Kong, unless I unless I missed it. Oh oof, God. oof. Uh, that uh, that doesn't look right. What? What? He's so happy. It's so cute. Look at him. Uh, Smith, you you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I don't know what am I supposed to see. Uh, what, 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 you know what, what what I what what got sent and from from Go no, no 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 like like uh, look at the position of Godzilla and look at the monster and what it looks like is uh, transpiring. <laughs> oh, oh, why you gotta do that? <laughs> 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 it looks like it no, looks like Godzilla no, is getting no. like a happy ending. <laughs> no, you gotta censor that. You censor that. Oh, so. you censor uh, yeah, that. like you know, my I'm I'm not the only one seeing that though, right? <laughs> I I'm innocent. No, you censored that now. It's censored. Can't have that. Standards and practice. <laughs> It's not acceptable Dang. on television. <laughs> I mean, I, was, I put this one up because it's like this is a different monster that could face this monster X person, you know, you know. Or how about? It looks like he's. It looks like he's holding him up by his Godzilla. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> holding him up by his Godzilla, you animal. Mm. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Gigan. Gigan is my favorite Godzilla monster of all time. Let's get, let's get fucking Gigan. I want Gigan in that movie. I want him to fuck shit up, and then I want Godzilla to give him a drop kick, like a flying, <laughs> like a flying drop kick. Got to hover on his tail though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I think I think in this case I would like to see a scenario where they fight multiple monsters as opposed to just fighting one super powerful monster, you know? 
Like instead of them just like in a Godzilla vs Kong at the end, they team up to fight Mecha Godzilla. I, I I'd rather see them fight a variety of different monsters as opposed to just one super powerful monster. You know what I'm saying? Be right back, gentlemen. Like I want I want all those other monsters that were at the end of King of the Monsters. I want them to. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. See what happens. I'm just, I'm just glad the the monster verse is continuing. You know, I like those movies. Hey, you're not alone there. So you got a lot of people out there. I like this visual right here. Yeah. It's like a turtle versus a Digimon. Good. Never really uh, got into Gamera. Maybe I'll maybe I uh, maybe I'll check them out sometime. Real quick, what we were talking about a little bit earlier before we uh, move on to our fight. Um, Here's I want to talk about love. this right here. Missed uh, it. There we go. The figure eyes, like figure eyes, like after, like, like yeah. The quality is way better. Some of the face sculpts aren't always the best, but for the most part. But like, look at this. Where is he? Yeah, the face is not the best on this one. Compared to the rate to the FH figure works, yeah, like I, uh, uh, this is not so great. No, it's not. But compare it to. Uh... Dragon Stars, O Tanks. But it's like, you get you get you, you get, get the three same ghosts. amount of you get the same amount of tic articulation and all that. Do you get does this come with one ghost or three ghosts? I think the three. Yeah, see like the That's what I mean, man. Like the figure arts one was like double the price. Triple the price. And you only got one ghost. And you can see a lot of these are sold out. But I'm, luckily, I have a lot of these. Like, the only ones I don't have is I don't have just Jiren. I don't have Super Saiyan 4. I don't have Ultra Instinct. Well, this Broly. I do have this Gogeta. And I do have this Goku. I got Piccolo. I got this Broly. I have Krillin. I don't have this one. I have a regular Goku. I don't have this Goku, though. See that's what I'm saying. Like I get it. Like if you if you can uh, if you're telling me you can't afford the figure arts, I, I get it. Like uh, no problem. But here's the thing also but about these two. Just because these are sold these. out, just because some of these are sold out means you can't find them. Because I find a lot of these at like a Barnes and Noble bookstore. Yeah. So if you know if you have a Barnes and Noble in your area. I would, I would definitely give it a look because they, nine times out of ten, carry a lot of these Dragon Ball model kits. Or if you have them, like a comic book store or a hobby store, they'll sell these as well. Like, like a Hobby Lobby or something like that, they sell the Dragon Ball model kits in there. Yeah. Or, you know, like any kind of like comic book store or like hobby shop, you can probably find these. So don't don't be don't be distracted don't I'm mean, not even distracted don't be uh, detoured from looking to collecting the model kits because these aren't available here. Like I said, they're out there in the wild because like I said, a lot of them I find in the wild. I've never ordered any of the model kits that I have from Dragon Ball. Every last one I found that in in, in Barnes and Noble stores, and I got a lot. I got a lot of these dudes. I still got to put together Android 18. I got to put together Android uh, 17. I still got to put together Broly, Gogeta, and uh, Vegito. Like, yeah, I still got a lot of dudes I got to put together. But like I said, it's definitely worth it if you don't want to pay the FH Figuarts price. Now, I have purchased some Figuarts. 
I got the Super Boo and Fat Boo because they haven't made a model kit for for Boo other than Kid Boo. And like I said, I picked up that um that uh Go Tanks. Yeah, like I said, uh, if you can't get the figure arts, just get the get the model kits. Don't don't waste your money on on Dragon Stars. Yeah. Jimmy, you back? Especially the model yeah, kits. Yeah, uh, the model kits are very close to the same price. Well, it is about that time. It's time for a fight. And we continue right. with our Spaghetti and Friends Invitational Cup Tournament. Where tonight we continue the first round with a interesting pairing, if to say the least. We have straight from the lost the deceased planet of Thundera, Chitara, and the space bounty hunter herself, Samus. Now, Matt, as always, would you like to explain to the good people at home rules of set fight? All right. So rules, as always, you have to you have to imagine that this is just a, a completely random encounter. Like there's no prep time here. You have to imagine as if both fighters wake up and instantly perceive each other as a threat, one they must neutralize in a manner in which they normally would. Of course, the only weapons they have access to is anything that they would regularly have with them on like a regular day or like a regular mission, if you will. Uh, of course, same thing applies to like powers and abilities. It's only stuff that they could normally do. Um, no calling for backup unless that is something you would normally do. And uh, this is going to be like a fight. Uh, this is going to be like a fight to the death. Uh, so, you know, they, they, there, there's no uh, bloodlust is turned up to 100. There's no question of will they fight, will they not fight. Like, yes, they, they, they're going to fight. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, real quick, Ojira, uh, you know, the, 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 the thumb, the, the image, it's just a, it's just a nice image. I'm assuming that Samus is starting out in her, uh, traditional, traditional suit. <coughs> uh, so, what would, what would Samus have because I know she does get a lot of like equipment and a lot of upgrades much later she much later on. She usually have a gun. Yeah, so she usually has her like hand cannon. Yeah. Does she start typically with anything else? Mm, not really, no. Uh, no. Not really. It's usually like the baseline is the hand cannon and I think that's it honestly. Does she start off with the screw attack? I don't know. Alright, Chitara, she's got the staff. Chitara, super speed. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say in addition to the super speed, she she's also a cat person. So she's gonna be uh she's gonna have she's gonna have cat like agility. She's gonna have cat like reflexes. Cat like reflexes. Uh-huh. And, uh now Samus in the in the power suit, I, I don't think that tends to weigh her down, right? Like I think even in the suit, I think she's fairly agile, right? Like I don't think she's just kind of. Oh no, she's super agile. I mean, she can roll up into a ball. She can jump super high heights. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So the the big suit is not. Uh... It's 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 not necessarily weighing her back. Okay, Gojira says Samus has her three stage cannon, bombs, and grapple line. Screw attack is usually learned, but in recent games she comes equipped with screw attack. Um, I so what is what are, aside from the staff and the super speed, what else does Chitara bring to the table? I have to admit, uh, I'm not, not. Uh, 
Th Thundercats is not a show that I'm super. Uh, well, she she's proficient with the bow staff. Too. Like I said, she has super speed. She has I would I would basically say the abilities of a cheetah. So like yeah. you know, s sense of smell, sense of hearing, decent uh, eyesight, and like I said, the speed plus uh strength. Also, being like a senior member of the Thundercats team, she has a lot of military experience, and you know, is considered like a a second leader to the group. Outside of like Lino and maybe Panthro. Are we? Are we uh, counting Smash Brothers as canon or no? I never even thought about it. Because here's my thing. If we're... If we rule out Smash Brothers, Samus is... Samus, in terms of hand-to-hand -hand fighting, is almost zero. This is true. Like, in... in, in uh, She's not doing hand-to-hand combat in any of the Metroid games. Right? Yeah. Obviously if we're obviously if we're taking Smash Brothers for consideration then and yeah like obviously our hand to hand fighting would be uh would certainly be up there. I don't know. Are are you guys uh are you guys leaning in any kind of way or I uh, I'm I'm torn because Samus her specialty obviously isn't hand to hand in the mainline games. And yeah, she wears armor, but the armor isn't yeah, you know, the armor isn't indestructible. I mean, in the game she can die very, very easily to enemies that you know, in all fairness aren't too different in terms of strength and agility to what we have here, so I don't know. Yeah, see, I would say I would say the armor is uh I don't know, like yeah, like I would say she she loses the armor fairly quickly. I mean, she's got lock on for the hand cannon, but Chitara is too fast. Yeah, Chitara, that's the thing with Chitara, like she has the super speed. Yeah, but if she gets clipped though, then what? Th see, that's the thing. That's the thing I I feel like Samus could probably end this quickly. If she gets a couple shots, maybe not even a couple. Like if she gets one or two shots into, onto Chitara, like we're talking about a hand cannon, you know. Like I think uh, if she shoots her in the leg, eh, she's good. Chances are she's blowing her leg off, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Question is, uh, I think the question comes down to: Is, is Chitara? Too fast for Samus to be able to hit her with that hand cannon. Well, let's 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 say for the sake of argument, somehow Chitara manages to avoid the range attack and gets in close combat. So now we're dealing with basically hand to hand now. Are we are we saying that are we assuming that she takes out the armor? Well, Samus never had the armor. She she takes out the cannon. Yeah. Cause if it, cause then, uh, cause then she's kind of got she's kind of got that like pistol, which can turn into a a laser a laser like whip. I don't know. Laser whip sounds weird, but I can't think of any better way to describe it. Well, see, like I said, she's got that whip, but Chitara's got her staff, and I'm pretty sure she can handle a whip, seeing as how she fucks around with a uh, Tigra and his his little whip all goddamn day. So, yeah, um, you guys ready to vote? Uh, I think I am. Uh, okay. yeah, I think uh, I think I've made a decision.
Uh, what, what say you, Matt? I, I think I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Chitara. Just because she's got this, she's got the speed and she's got the agility, and she's a, you know, like she's a cat. She's a cat, so I'm so sh I'm sure she's got like uh, some form of claws, you know. Like Sam Samus is good, like she's got that cannon, but I, I feel it's again a thing of if unless she can hit Chitara with the cannon. Right away, I, I don't see how Samus overcomes super speed. Even though she is agile, I just think Chitara is more agile and she's faster. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go against what I was initially going to go for. Is I, I'm probably going to end up going with Samus. Because, like, yeah, Chitara is fast and agile, super speed, strength, and everything. But at the end of the day, it take the only way to get to Samus is to get through the armor first, which takes time. And, and statistically, Samus can at least get one shot in with the hand cannon, which will, I think, do her do her in for the most part. So I, I think I'm gonna go with Samus on this one. I think she could pull it off. I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough one. Hmm. Because she's got to hit her at least one. Give me a minute. I need to think about this real quick. The thing, too, the thing with Chitara, too, is all, all the Thundercats, they each have a different, like, special ability. Chitara is, is super speed, but also don't confuse that. Chitara also has, she's also incredibly strong. Because again, she has all the strength of a cheetah. Yeah, this is a this is a tough one, man. This this one of those uh, this one of those fights where it's uh, I think... very even. Hmm. I think Chitara would take it based off of if she can outrun the cannon and get in close, and then hit her with some fast hands. I don't, I don't think Samus can keep up. Like I don't think she, I don't think she's strong enough. Like Chitara, I think is a lot stronger than Samus. So I'm voting for Chitara. Like she's got like freaky cat strength, you know. Chitara, yum. Especially like when they see the Thundercat Simno, they they kind of kick it up to extra gear. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm voting for Ch Chitara on this. So does that mean Chitara moves on? Or who did you vote? You voted for Chitara too, right, Matt? I, I, I said Chitara, yeah. Alright, so yeah, two to one. Not a clean sweep, but it's, it's, it's a victory. So Victory. Ch Chitara moves on to the next round. So Dang. Everybody, like, I initially think I'm going to vote for, end up, like, going against. Like, everybody that when I when I see this fight on paper, like, I'm, I'm leaning towards someone, and then I'm thinking, like, okay, yeah, this, this is probably going to be the winner. And then when you kind of, that's what's fun about doing this, is when you kind of break it down, kind of, like, the person you expect to win is not necessarily always the one who does win. Yep. That man would still beat the shit out of Chun Li though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is at that time we time for some trailers. We got three on tap for you, uh, lovely people tonight. Oh yeah. Let me uh, switch it up for y'all. Trailers, ahoy! 
Cruella's Ahoy. The first one we're going to jump into is Tiny Toons Luniversity. Tiny Toons is making a comeback. I didn't even know this. Me neither. Uh, I came out of nowhere. So, you know, I figured we take a look at it. I mean, a lot of people, especially if you're in the 30-ish range age, you probably grew up on Tiny Toon Adventures. If you grew up in the 90s, you, you sure as definitely grew up with some Tiny Toons. So let's take a look at... Of course Tiny, I know him. He's me. Tiny Toons Luniversity. Let me know if it's too loud for y'all. Come earn your Toon degree at Acme Luniversity. <laughs> Acme Lu is responsible for shaping the greatest tune since 1933. You're welcome. We've got everything to aid in your education. Large dormitory halls, a great campus meal plan, a state-of-the-art Toonie Ball field, and a library, probably. Major in topics that really matter, while studying under our esteemed faculty and alumni. Here at Acme Lou, we take our Toonie studies very seriously. We've won every major academic award for tomfoolery. Enroll at Acme University today and fulfill your platoon chol. Get it? Uh, uh? Come earn your tune. What What do you gentlemen think? That looks all right. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are a little updated from the original. It still has that kind of animated feel to it. And, you know, pretty much the whole cast of characters are back. Uh, I mean, it looks all right. I, I always kind of felt like Tiny Toons was the opposite of Muppet Babies for me. Like, I like Muppet Babies more than I like regular Muppets. Uh, I always thought Tiny Toons was not as good as Looney Toons. Like, uh, I, I have to admit, like, this this was one of those cartoons where, because, I, I, yeah, like, I'm, I'm a 90s kid, and this was one of those cartoons where when it came on, I, I, was, I was not having a fun time. Like, you, like Tiny Toons. So this was on one of those, it. this is one of those cartoons when it came on, you changed the channel. Yeah, like this is one where I'd either change the channel or if the cartoon I wanted to watch was after Tiny Toons, I, I would just reluctantly watch it, but I never, I, I was never having a good time. Like this was kind of like eating my vegetables. <laughs> but again, if I'm being honest, like I don't, I, I, I didn't really super like Looney Tunes that much either. I think cartoons that I wasn't into... I would either do something else, like play with toys or something, till the cartoon I wanted to come on started, or I would just, uh, like, find another cartoon to watch on a different channel or something. Yeah, yeah, like that. That would be the case with this. Like, if Tiny Toons was on, I was, I, I was zoning out, and I was either like, uh, I, I'd be either playing with my toys or. I'd be uh, watching something else, or you know, on the odd time, I'd kind of reluctantly sit and Ooh, watch it. But I was never having a good time, so I don't know if I'm super nostalgic for Tiny Toons. I'll probably check this. I'll probably check this out. I like this probably part right this here out. where they go through all the classes. There's like Amble One Hundred One, uh, yeah, uh, Whoopee Cushion. <laughs> we got Banana Pill Placement. You know, we got all the all the classics. I'll probably I'll probably check it out though. Uh, would you say you were you more of an Animaniacs or than a than a Tiny Toons fan? Yeah, big time, like big time, like an Animaniacs for sure. Like if Animaniacs was on, then I was definitely having a good time. Like uh, the 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 Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. It's like uh, we, we we were having a good time for sure. I, I, I would have to agree. I feel like 
I think what Animaniacs did was took what Tiny Toons was doing and then improved on it and then elevated it. Yeah. Where it was like here for the first time in years, we're making original IP. But we're basing it in a universe that has existed for years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And it got over to us like, you know, it's part of the it's part of the you know, the the lore of of what cartoons are. So it's like, yeah, man, that's cool. You know, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have Pinky in the brain, you know what I mean? So but you know what? I I'll probably check this out. I didn't even know like I was like Cartoon Network. I was like, I thought that I thought I thought Cartoon Network uh died. Yeah, no, I, it's 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 uh, you know the golden the golden era of Cartoon Network is dead, but the I'm network itself that. still kicks, is what you're saying. Yeah, got you. But you know, it is what it is. I'll check it out. Let's move on to our next trailer. We got a. Uh, Transformers, hope this doesn't suck, but it, will. But it probably will. Oh, uh, this movie is, nah, this movie is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, can y'all see it? Yup. Mm, yep. Alright, we got Rise of the Beast. Let's check it out, peoples. Stop! Stop! Shut up now, I'm open up, shut up! For centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. But darkness has found us again. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. All right, hold on. I have to pause. I have to pause. So we can be a little more transformative here, no pun intended. Hey. Unicron. I'm looking at a Unicron. Yeah. An actual looks Unicron great. live action Unicron. Hey, he looks great. Looks great. But he shouldn't be in this movie. Why, why do you say that? I don't know. I just feel like they're not going to do it right. I I have no confidence. Because, again, they're making it... They're making it about the people. If if Unicron was going to come for anything first, he's coming for Cybertron. So, uh, do we want to... Do we want to, uh... And do we want to talk about the test screenings? Do we want to talk potential spoilers? We can talk about it. I don't care. So supposedly he's already destroyed Cybertron by this point. Ah. Uh, hmm. uh, changes things. <laughs> yeah, because... Whatever. I'm, I'm just going to say... I'm just going to talk about the test screenings. Uh, and, and everything I'm saying could potentially be spoilers. Uh, listen at your own risk. But again, supposedly he's he's already destroyed uh, Cybertron, and that uh, basically he sent the Terracons to Earth to kind kind of kind of like how Galactus does it with the Heralds, like where uh, supposedly he's sending he sends the Terracons to Earth to basically weaken Earth's defenses so that he could just come in and chow down. All right, well, hold that thoughts. Well, well, let's keep watching. Back up. Oh, I thought we were boys. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here? I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Think you hold the lead and you have a better aim. Stop! Stop! 
this is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. In the end, everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. what you got to say okay first of all i love i love this remix of uh dmx uh why dang why do i why do i love pete davidson as the voice of mirage i fucking fucking hate pete davidson oh i'm kind of right there with you I, i i don't like pete davidson at all and I don't, like, I don't know, whatever. I'm not angry at it. I feel like his. I feel like at him as Mirage. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just like all for it. I, I'm like, I'm so tired of these human arcs, though. You can yeah. already tell that. Yeah, you know, they they massacred Will Jack, man. They massacred. They massacred. Ah, uh, the, uh, the thing. Listen, listen. The thing with Will Jack, you you already got Will Jack at the start of Bumblebee. I think this is just a name swap. Like this is just a name place, you know. But yeah, the, the, those human elements are going to be so bad in this movie. Again, again, though, if you go by if you go by what people are saying from the test screenings, this, this movie is like five percent. This movie is like five percent human stuff. Okay, like well, ninety-five percent. Transformers, like apparently, apparently the humans play a uh, play a very, very, very small part in this movie. Here, here's kind of where I'm at with this we, movie. We, we supposedly uh, do not spend a lot of time with them. Like the movie is, like I said, it's ninety five percent Transformers and five percent humans. The the movie visually looks cool. It's cool to see Unicron, and but the the the, the problem I'm having is that. Basically, the writers watched the Netflix cartoon and made it into a movie. I, I don't know why they couldn't just follow what the original movie did if they wanted to introduce Unicron so early. Because the time travel is cool and all, but I don't know. See, I, I disagree. I think they I think they needed something. I think they needed something to get people get people to fall in love with transformers again like the 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 last night left such a bad taste in people's mouths and even though i really like age of extinction that was just another movie that was not very well received i think they needed something to kind of kind of leave a good taste in people's mouth you know to kind of get people invested in transformers again I, I don't think this is the last we're gonna see of Unicron. But I, I, I think that I think that this is gonna be just like an introduction and you know, I, I suspect we'll get more Unicron. I, I wouldn't be as mad at it if the movie's purpose was to reboot the uh, like the Bay movies. But so that's, what so I, that's yeah. basically so I didn't mean to cut you off, but No, go ahead. That's supposedly what this is. Um, so I again, so. A, a, again, if we if we go by what we heard at the test screenings, uh, 
supposedly uh, y- you know the part where it looks like they're in like the Mayans and they're opening up this like a uh, underground like circle like door yeah. or whatever you want to call it yeah so supposedly what happens is that the maximals travel back in time and they lock the predacons away in that like underground fortress they basically lock the predacons away and then that changes the timeline so that the so that the the events of like the Michael Bay movies basically never happened and that this it, it, the that that's that's how it explains where you get a different origin in Bumblebee so they seal away the predacons at alters time and makes it so that Megatron Megatron never came to earth looking for the all spark like Meg, so none of that ever happened like Megatron never came to earth we have not seen Megatron yet that's, okay, that's, well, that's, 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 suppose, like... that's supposedly what happens so that Maximals traveling back in time, they basically uh, change the continuity so that only mm-hmm. Bumblebee has kind of happened and the other stuff is seemingly erased from the See that, that, continuity. That's, that's different from what I read because the director was talking about the movie. He was asked about Optimus. And he said that the Bay movies are going to be canon and that the Optimus you see here eventually becomes the Bay former Optimus. So I don't I don't know. I, I hope you're right. It, it seems like it seems like what they're what they're trying to do, especially what the director is trying to do. He, he's trying to play it in the middle where he, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to make people that are fans of the Michael Bay movies. He doesn't want to basically outright say that that those movies are no longer continuity, so that they they get pissed off and they don't come see this. But he's also trying to not piss people off that hate the Bay movies by right, by saying like, you, you know what I mean? Like people that want something new. He's saying, hey, this is it. This is something new. But people that are still a fan of the Bay movies. He's kind of being like, hey, like, this is still part of the Bayverse, don't worry. He seems to be kind of playing it very much in the middle. But again, only only take what I'm saying as potential spoilers. I'm only going off by what yeah. the leaks from the test screenings. And you know how test screenings are. But again, la- la- last time I was on this show and I was talking about stuff that was coming out of test screenings... I, I told you all, I, I told everybody what was going to happen in Halloween ends with Corey Cunningham and I, every, everything I said happened. So a, a lot of times you, you can give credit to these test screenings. Uh, I, I do like that and, you know, potential spoilers for people watching. Uh, we don't know if it's true, but I, I do like they're doing with Scourge being uh, Optimus Prime from what is it from the future technically so uh, so it's actually uh yeah like it's him from a different timeline like supposedly unicron brings optimus prime uh a defeated optimus prime and then Four basically months. basically reformats him in discourage and then he, he basically sends the terracons to basically again to weaken earth's defenses so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think it looks good. Again, though, like I'm not. Uh, I don't love the Bay movies, but I don't hate them either. I, I don't mind them. I hate them. Oh, I, I don't uh, hate them. I, I don't hate them either. I. I, I, don't I hate their face. No, I. I I'm just. Face. I like the beast. I like Beast Wars. Like obviously, uh, I've said this before. Beast Wars is my transformers like beast wars was my first experience with transformers so i'm I'm obviously excited to see live action beast wars but i don't know i'm, I'm just hoping this movie's good it, judging off what i'm hearing about the test screenings that seems to be what happens is that the maximals do travel back in time they change the continuity so that the the previous five movies never happened so that this is basically like a clean slate which is what i think they need to do 
Unicron looks good, man. Come on. Like, Unicron looks fucking good. If Michael Bay was involved, Unicron would not look this fucking good. Yeah, he, he'd be like a cloud like Galactus. Exactly. <laughs> he'd be a cloud. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I'm not even saying it doesn't look good. I'm just like, I just, it, it looks good for being in the wrong movie. Wheel, Wheeljack, I, I, I get it. I know people are not a fan of Wheeljack. I'm, I'm just, again, I, I'm just saying, like, this is just a, this is just a name slap. Uh, assuming that, I'm assuming that this is not the same Wheeljack that we see in uh, Bumblebee. No, nah, it's not the that's, same thing. Yeah, like that's what that's what I'm that's what I'm going in. I'm going in with that expectation. But uh, I don't know, man. The Beast Wars, like they Shiro look, looks good. You know, we, yeah, we get that shot of RC riding on Rhinox. Now, I do have one small thing that I am worried about. What's that? And and this is this is like a weird nitpick. I'm concerned that we haven't really seen any of the Beast Beast Wars characters transform. Uh, we see Primal transform in the first trailer. That's the thing. Like we we only really see Primal transform. I I, I do hope they spend a, a good amount of time in robot mode. I I, I like seeing the animals and stuff, but. Like in that, in the ending, and in that like last fight or whatever it is, like I want, I want to see Rhinox transform and bust out the Gatling guns, you know? Yeah. Uh, supposedly Scorponok is in that move, is in this movie. Oh Do yeah, that I saw the little shot at the end. Yeah, like we see all the little like scorpions, like yeah, the scorpion army. I wonder if they're gonna make if they're making the Predacons more like uh, generals where each have their own like armies and stuff maybe that looks good fingers crossed i think it's gonna be good i'm hype man like beast wars is uh beast wars is it for me yeah i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a chance i'm gonna check it out you know but like i said the, the bar is set low for me so yeah yeah absolutely uh, the animated one. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that before we move on to the next trailer. What a, what's what's the details on this? Because I'm I'm hearing things. Uh, uh I'm heated about it. So it's what? a cool concept. See, what, what what's got you heated over here? Well, I like the idea of a Transformers prequel that's fully CG. Uh, that takes place on Cybertron. You, you get to get backstories to Megatron and Prime. But my issue is is the is most of the cast because judging by the cast, I will not take this movie seriously. I'm so tired of fucking MCU actors and everything. Like I don't, you, you can't tell me Chris Hemsworth is gonna be a good Prime, even if he's a young Prime. It it just won't work. You do. And, yeah. Do you just do you just not like the fact? You just not like the fact that it's uh is it like Chris Hemsworth per se or no. is it just is it just that like you don't want any prime that's not Peter Cullen? Oh, it's neither. I, I'm fine with Chris Hemsworth. I got no issues with him and I'm fine with different actors doing prime. It's worked great in the, like almost all of the cartoons. I, I just wanted somebody a little lesser known so that because Alita One is Scarlett Johansson. The only thing you're gonna picture is Scarlett Johansson. You know what I mean? And same with Hemsworth. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll Scarlett work. Scarlett Johansson is Alita One. Yeah. yeah. Right, what's and the, the, what's, the what's the rest of this cast? So you got Hemsworth. You got her. You have. The dude from Eternals who made all the technology, he's Megatron. Oh, uh, Paperboy? If you ever never, uh, if you never watched Atlanta, you don't know. He plays a character, he plays a rapper named Paperboy. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's him. Yeah, Sorry, he's Megatron. It's, it's with Donald Glover, he's in it as well. 
Uh, he might do fine. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what his Megatron would be like. Uh, John Hamm is Sentinel Prime, which fits mostly, and Lawrence Fishburne is Alpha Trion. That's not bad. Yeah, th- those are okay. And, oh, God, the kind of the one that uh, worries me is Bumblebee is voiced by uh, Keegan-Michael Key. Yeah. That's, you kind of already know he's going to be a comedy. Did he do Toad? So, yeah. So... Um. Yeah, that one that one is a little concerning. I don't know, like maybe if, if Hemsworth can pull off a pretty convincing deep American accent, maybe that'll work out for Prime. I, I just don't want this to end up like a like a Chris Pratt Mario thing where it kind of just sounds like Chris Pratt, you know? Yeah. But the concept is cool, and I'm. I hope everyone will be like, because the way I'm picturing it is that this is going to be the first five minutes of Bumblebee, only a whole movie. I, I think the I think the Scarlett Johansson is less objective to me than the Optimus Prime. But but you gotta you gotta understand too that like bring it bringing in like uh, bringing in like a list talent it, it, it it's gonna help this movie. It'll yeah it'll make it more successful like the, right. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like I do agree with Scarlett Johansson, but Scarlett Johansson as a lead of one bring in more people, and if they just get like a some unknown to play Alita 1, you know what I'm saying? Like, who plays Alita 1 in the cartoon? Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> he ain't wrong, man. Like, now, now Scarlett Johansson playing Alita 1, like, that's something where people are gonna be, like, something where, like, people are gonna be, like, uh, interested. So, I, I get the, I get the decision, but, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I get. I like the idea. I like the idea of this. Like I've always, like I've always said too about Terminator. Like I, I just want a movie where it takes place where they're actually fighting the war against the Terminator, and there's no time travel. It's just about them fighting in the war. So that that's very much what I would like to, this movie to be. I just want a movie where it's about Autobots and Decepticons fighting in a war. For control of Cybertron. Uh, Daniel says I'm concerned about the new Megatron voice. I mean, if he could pull off like a convincing gravelly voice, I'm sure it'll be fine. That I'm actually not as concerned about. And did you Megatron guys? Did again? You guys... Who's playing the Megatron? dude from Eternals? Paperboy. Oh, Paperboy. Okay. Um, he did might you guys be watch Bullet... I mean... Did you guys watch Bullet Train? Mm-mm. No, Brad Pitt. No, nah. I haven't seen that. Yeah, like you, if you watch him and if you watch him in Bullet Train, if he kind of brings it, if he kind of brings that energy to uh, uh, I mean, Megatron, the dude's a good actor, so I, I, I'll give him the benefit yeah. of the doubt. Put it that way, he's a decent actor. And the thing in the projects that I've seen of him. He he does a little bit of everything. He's been in a lot of different type of movies, so I'm a, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and see what happens, you know. But uh, you know, I still think it'll. Uh, I mean, I still think it'll be a cool movie, though. I, I'm definitely gonna go see it. It's gonna be an animated movie. Technically CG, like or Bumblebee. CG. Yeah. So it's it's canon with the stuff we're getting now. It's called Transformers One. Okay, so it's so. not gonna it's not gonna be like a cartoon, like it's just but it's gonna be CGI, but it's not gonna be like a 
the cartoon. Yeah, like I said, it's the first five minutes of Bumblebee, from what I know, just bigger. And it's going to explore how Cybertron fell and how Prime and Megatron kind of became enemies, as well as uh, how Prime became Prime, you know, from Orion Pax and whatnot. Gotcha. Well, I mean, it, uh, it is what it is. Where, where does it take place? Like, where does it take place? Like, is it going to be part of this, like, new canon? Oh, that? I'm get. Uh... I'm is guessing. This, does this does this movie lead into the first five minutes of Bumblebee? That's what I'm guessing, because Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast is this new franchise. I'm guessing this is gonna lead right into that. Okay, I'm yeah. cool with it. I'm cool. With yeah, it. yeah. I'm always good with more Transformers. Hmm. Uh, well, we got one more trailer before we wrap it up tonight, and that is The Flash. Let's jump right into The Flash, shall we? I lost my parents. That pain made me who I am. I spent a lifetime trying to right the wrongs of the past. As if fighting crime would bring my parents back. It's like they took the focus completely off. Of you actually did it. Took the focus completely <coughs> I can't imagine what you've been through. Flash in this trailer. I love you, Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the look, Bat this is Batman like 3.0 movie trailer. Look everybody, it's it's Michael Keaton. I went back in time to save my parents. But instead, I completely broke the universe. If you went back and changed the past. This world must die. You change the future. Do you know what the symbol stands for? It means hope, right? I will help you if I thought. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. to undo what I did. Any scars we have. I guess who we are. I'm not meant to go back and fix them. No, but your tragedy to find you. What did you do? Do. We're not going to be able to fix this. No! Nobody dies! You're strapped to your parachutes. It wins yours! So what are we thinking over here? Uh, certainly looks interesting. That looks good. I think this movie looks really good. Uh, I said it before. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too angry about the the gal who's playing Supergirl. Looks fine so far. I just like this is kind of like a just like uh, a, a do over for Keaton's Batman kind of erase all the Schumacher shit. Yeah. yeah. It's like you can go Batman, Batman Returns, and then forget about all the other stuff that happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we go straight to old man Batman. I'm, I'm glad that Keaton still has like the old suit. Like, uh, I, I, I know a lot of people were saying they want Keaton to wear like a 
they want him to wear like a, like a Flashpoint suit or they want him to wear like a Batman Beyond suit. I'm, no. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that they gave him the they gave him the original suit. But I like that there's little hints of other suits here in the Batcave. Like there's the Kingdom Come suit right there. Yeah. Then there's one of like I said, there's a blue and gray version. The ones in the back look like the ones from the first movie. This and one I, I seems, wonder. seems a little more armored in the front. And then this one's kind of like a Batman that Ben Affleck was looking like with the gargles and shit almost. But his, but this is his version of that style of Batman. This one's got a gun and holster on the side on the left. I wonder, I wonder, like, we see, uh, it's because we see Ben Affleck in a blue and gray suit later on. I wonder if we'll get a thing where him and Keaton meet up, and then they're like, oh, okay, we gotta go do this, we, we gotta go do this thing, whatever it is. And then, uh, Affleck's like, Dang, I, I, I'd I love to go out and help you guys, but I don't have a suit. And then Keaton's like, don't worry, homie, I got you. <laughs> yeah, he says that, exactly. Don't worry, homie. But, I mean, I'm interested. I'm, I'm going to check it out, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested just to, to see what they're going to do that's supposedly supposed to reboot, you know, the whole DCEU and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see this movie. Uh, it's great seeing, like, Michael Shannon as Zod again. It's great to... Uh, Great to see more Zod. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping... I'm, I'm hoping... Uh, it, it'll be like a multi multiverse of madness thing where it's like... You know, they, they showed Professor X in the trailer and people were like, Oh, damn, why are they, why are they wasting Professor X? That would have been a cool surprise. No, they're giving you Professor X... Because there's bigger surprises, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will be the case here, where they're they're showing you Zod and they're showing you Batman, they're showing you Batfleck, as oh, like don't worry, like we got some, don't worry, like we got some other fun surprises for this movie. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Definitely gonna look forward to that, man. So it's not that far away, but that is damn. That's it for tonight. We are we have made it, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody for coming out and joining us tonight. I had a good time. I hope everybody did. If you liked it, definitely smash the like. And if you're not subscribed, hey, why aren't you? Come on now. But you guys have a, yourselves a fun weekend. We'll be back here next week for more fun and adventure. Join us tomorrow night for some clickbait wrestling. And yeah, and enjoy your rest of your evening and the rest of your weekend. And as my man Buff would tell you, to make sure you always kick out. You guys got anything to say before we call it for the night, gentlemen? Uh, sorry, Jimmy. I, I was going to say something about jizzling on the Yama booty. You, you got that. <laughs> jizzling on the gizzle. Oh, my God. Uh, no, just thanks for uh, joining us, everybody. You know, and... Uh... Uh, don't forget again, you know, don't forget to uh, join us tomorrow on uh, Clickbait because, you know, we'll, 
we, we didn't talk about SmackDown a lot tonight, but don't worry, we're going to talk about the draft tomorrow. And there's, trust me, my friends, trust me, there's going to be more draft picks before Monday. We, we, we saw a whole draft pool. 90% of it is still untouched. So I'm sure there's going to be more draft picks later tonight. I'm sure there will be more draft picks tomorrow. So make sure you know you, you join us tomorrow, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about it, man. We're gonna talk about it all. That's right. So we'll see y'all then. Until then, have a good night. Try it.